this week on Clown College. Now, I guess we're on the topic one-on-one in the ring. Who do you think has it? Oh, it's Trump. Trump, Yeah, we all know it's Trump. That's a big thing. It's a big. Yeah. That's He's the thing. It's just three. weight. That's the thing. It's it just would, weight. It's it would look. Weight. It would look awful. Like they would just be like rolling around. You ever seen like old people fight? Uh, those clips of old people fighting, and one of them just turns, and then like nothing really happens. All right, no, I've never seen any videos of your. Can family you look up elderly? <laughs> elderly. <laughs> said old people fight. This is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Wait. Oh, I thought you did Brandon. <laughs> no, no, you, man. You said very smart. That was a yeah. smart reference. Yeah. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, well, <laughs> to to like totally eliminate that, I was about to be like, "Don't worry, dude. I was wearing green on April Fool's Day." First of all, it's not April Fool's Day, and that's not what you're supposed to do on April. Fool's yeah, Day. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's St. Patrick's Day right there. Yeah, They're close together. That's drug abuse, man. <laughs> yeah, you do enough, and you'll start thinking some creative things, dude. Oh yeah, very creative. <laughs> that's stand up comedy. Hey, comedy. Hell yeah. What you been up to, Brandon? Man, you know, I've just been trying to live, doing a good life. Uh, been able to host. I've been doing uh, Hidden Dragon. Yeah, yeah. It's been really good. Yeah, it's been dude. really fun. I've been having a good time, man. I've been, man. <laughs> what I've noticed today, Brandon picked up a new fear, dude. What? What's that? Elements, the wind. Oh, oh yeah. Man, I'm scared of the wind that. now. Yeah, because it's crazy shit, man. Yeah, like, I, I saw somebody chopper. breaking into my house the other day. Fucked up my roof and all that shit. Man. Uh. man. And then in my neighbor called, he was like, hey, man, you better check that. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Wait, what was that, the voice you did for your neighbor? Yeah, I was trying to, because you know we're in the South, man, a lot of country people. So I try to make make it. I try. I try to sometimes. <laughs> Good on you, Brandon. I try to sometimes mix it up and make it sound like we in the area. I'll be like, hey, yeah, yeah, Brandon, you better check that. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> I will. Trying to be inclusive. Yes. I like it, dude. Yes, I am, man. You got that uh, Smokey the Bear shirt on. Yes, I do. Because you're wearing a fire-resistant jacket as yes, well. Yes, I am. <laughs> feel very professional. Hell yeah. Only you could prevent wildfires, they say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did y'all do anything for April Fool's Day, man? You you fool anybody? Oh, dude. Not this April Fool's. But back when I was younger, dude, I pulled a prank on my boy, Sal. Oh. All right. Sal. A <laughs> uh, short Mexican guy. He used to be fat, and he was really fat at this point. And this is—it's just important for the story. And Ozempic is a miracle drug. <laughs> <laughs> One. Dude. So, so we uh, we're like me and D'Lo, we're like we're gonna pull a prank on him. We're gonna go out. To, we live. We were in Illinois, all cornfields. So we we went to the cornfield. We had a, a D'Lo's car, and if you put a car in in neutral and turn it off, you can't turn it back on. So whenever we were like, hey, we just got to get out and take a piss. Looks like a random spot. But at the same time, we had my boy Chris over there in like a little uh, drive, like a little where the tractors go through uh, in the cornfield. And he's hiding off with a Jason mask and a chainsaw. <laughs> swear to God. Chainsaw with the uh, the chain taken off, right? And so we get out. Me and D-Lo's like, man, we got to take a piss. First of all, we tell him we're going to this uh, party and this girl was uh, – <laughs> And this girl wanted to holler at him because he didn't want to go. He was like, man, no. I'm like, no, this girl want to holler at you. He was like, all right. So he got in there. <laughs> April Fool's number one. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we put the child child locks on the uh, back seat. He was in the back seat, <laughs> swear. And then we get out. We're like, oh, we got to take a piss. We turn off the car. We come back in. And D-Lo tries to start the car. Go, click, click, click. Click, click, click. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you just hear, room, room from the chainsaw. <laughs> Then he starts walking up with the Jason mask, and me and Dio was like, oh, fuck this. And we got out the car and ran. And we just ran far enough to get out the lights and then come back around. And then Chris was over there with the chainsaw, and it was like this much uh, room in the window, and he was sticking it in there. <laughs> and Sal couldn't get through the, the front of it. <laughs> and so he's bouncing around in the back, and he's kicking the door. Like if he went to one side, he'd start kicking the door and the other thing. D- it's D-Lo and if you guys don't know who he is but it's my boy he's the most random person in the world for some reason he had a bed frame in the back seat of a car <laughs> so Sal's trying to fight to get out you got this fucking bed frame it's a little car he can't get through the front and so he scratches up his arm and everything <laughs> <A little bad. laughs> 
He's got a whole bed frame? Wow. A whole bed frame. Metal bed frame in the back. Dude, Why you got what? this dude with a chainsaw and a Jason mask trying to kill you? Oh, man, if we had cameras back then, dude. Damn. <laughs> if you posted that today, YouTube would take it down. Oh, for yeah. A violation like, of its terms of service. It's like you gave that guy PTSD. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he loves it. Oh, yeah. He loves it. Sally Poop. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Sal. Yeah. That sounds not fun, man. <laughs> it was Pranks a great are crazy, time. crazy, man. Yeah, Pranks I never did nothing like that, dude. No crazy prank? Just the classic, like, put saran wrap over the toilet. Oh, yeah. Man. That. But that's that's a little bit more rowdy. Well, I mean, no, no, I don't think so, dude. What like, if you it's go to not drop like a that's deuce? a traumatic experience. I would be <laughs> I'd be traumatized. What you think it just got stuck in your asshole? <laughs> I mean, you're just sitting there, you're sitting there shit and you're like, "Ugh, what's this feeling?" And it's like coming back on. Yeah, it's oh, terrible. Oh, no, man, no. Yeah, man, but also it's kind of your fault because the <laughs> saran wrap is right there, dude. It's not like it's yeah. so transparent that you can't see it, but it's like you do it the night before. That way you're early in the morning, somebody's got to take a piss, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it's just not what you wanted it to be. Dude. Yeah. And I, and I faced a lot of consequences for that. My grandparents weren't happy, dude, but it's okay. You did it to your grandparents? Oh, wow. That's the only people that I lived with. Oh, my three. God. Yeah, they didn't like it, dude. I thought it was going to be fun. It wasn't. Dude. No, <laughs> it was, it no. was kind of a, Brad, it was a whole thing, dude. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, dude. What elder abuse is at an all-time high, first of all? Go fuck? into any retirement home. Doesn't your <laughs> doesn't your retarded friend work at a retirement home or something? And, you got, and, a, and an old dude beat him up with a laptop, dude? First of all, I'm not getting to... <laughs> nobody's putting me on my knees with a Hewlett Packard. First of all, you're going to need one of those fucking big-ass gateway hey. computers. And he say he beat his legs. <laughs> this, is a, this is like a real report. This is in a report. <laughs> they said he beat his legs. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, God. Yeah, my, one of my boys watched it. He was like, we, cause we talked about it in an earlier episode. And he was like, he was, he was like, yeah, they found out Gus' ass was lying. <laughs> I'm saying his name all like, That's my nigga, no gut. But, <laughs> <laughs> That's a HIPAA violation, man. Yeah. But he got his legs beat by... A teenage, uh, what the fuck are those people called? They ain't, they ain't slow. You talking about the real strong ones? The uh, the site, <laughs> no, Uh-oh. not the kind that slammed you off the monkey bars. <laughs> oh, the man. other kind. They just got them. behavioral behavioral issues. Psychiatric. So they got, yeah, so yeah. they got to go to a, a home. Yeah, yeah, and they beat him, beat his legs. <laughs> You keep saying Yo, beat his leg. I don't I, know what you mean with the lap. Who leg? knows? I seen a I seen a paper report. And he reported that they beat his leg. They beat his leg. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I'm all in. Well, you know, you got to start from the bottom, dude. <laughs> Was it kind of similar to that incident where the teacher got beat up for taking that kid's uh, Nintendo? Oh, did no, you see that, hell, dude? That, Man. He fucked, but he like almost killed her in some shit. Yeah. Almost, yeah. It beat her oh, ass, bad. dude. Uh. I see, I seen the punch. Did he hit her while she was on the ground? Too? Yes, like while she was. I don't he think just he kept stopped. going. He didn't oh. like, dude. dude oh yeah, she's oh, suing his and, ass. And they, they, they said yeah, something we about talked like talked about this. Yeah, they said something like he autistic or whatever. Yeah, man, he better lock that autistic nigga up. Man, I don't give a fuck if he autistic. He he beat somebody like that on the ground. That's not a social cue, no. man. No, that's just beating somebody's ass. Just dude, you know the difference. Can't be killing people. So I'm saying, dude, and. And if you're severely autistic and that's the shit you do, you still need to be locked up somewhere. Yeah, I'm not that, saying in prison, but you need to be somewhere where people have got an eye on you. Dude, how much does it suck? You get your ass kicked by a student and then you don't have health insurance because you're a teacher. Oh. <laughs> you make like 35 grand a year. Hold on. They don't get health insurance? Oh, I'm sure they do, but it's probably not, not the, the greatest. Yeah. Yeah, probably. You, know, you probably got the bronze plan. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to pay $75 to get an x-ray. <laughs> This dude beat beat your ass because you took his switch, man. Yeah. And then he switched up on you. Yeah, you took Can't the be Super doing Smash that, Bros. Dude. <laughs> you thought it was a game. <laughs> it was not, dude. Took Super Smash Bros. and got smashed. <laughs> That's some shit. Yeah. It is what happened Donkey yeah. Kong style, too, if I remember. Oh, right. my gosh. Yes, but, man. But also, if you're the teacher, dude. You probably have had an idea. Like, if you if that student is willing to do that level of crazy shit, you probably had some behavioral issues with him before, and I'm not fucking taking I'm letting If it's going to chill him out, uh-huh. let him be on the switch. Yeah. It's, it's like in something about Mary, 
whenever he would touch the dude's ears, he would just. Y'all remember that movie? What, what movie? I mean, I've heard the name. I've never seen it. Oh, What's it called? Something about Mary. What is that? The one where uh, so Meryl Streep aborts her child? Hell, it's Ben Stiller and Cameron Diaz. Oh. Oh, I know. Not Ben. Yeah, yeah. When he zips his nut up in the. Uh, oh. 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 Yeah. oh Brad Farr's okay. in there. Hey, dude! Shout out Ben Stiller dude. for producing Severance. Talk about it. One of the Man. best TV shows Severance ever made. All right, I'm glad you said that. One season. It's probably. Like in terms of like concept and just how well it's oh. shot and how good the plot is and mm-hmm. the pacing, it might be my favorite show. Oh shit! Ever like only I, one season is the only drawback. Yeah, we'll dude, say that that one season, bro. So Sometimes good. less is more, and sure. they give you just enough to keep you crawling back, dude. Mm-hmm. Like a good crack dealer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like he's not gonna sell you everything, but he's gonna get you hooked, man. I'm gonna watch this tonight. Uh, it, it's Brandon. Brandon it is so good, dude. Brandon had we we put it on. Brandon was here, but. I had cooked ribs that night. Oh, oh so he's. Hey, his when I tell in you, other places. I've never. Oh, I think I got a picture, but I don't know. But we should have took video. He was. He was like, like Alex would laugh at the show, and then he'd be like, huh. <laughs> 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 and he had so much, it was stuffing. He had so much stuffing. I was like, this is as soon as he got done eating. I don't even know if he put the plate down. He was already passing. Yeah. Out. <laughs> Yeah, that was... <laughs> but he would just laugh randomly. Like Alex would start laughing. He'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> he was in a food coma. He was in a, yeah. food he was in a diabetic <laughs> coma, man. I was trying to make sure they knew I was okay, so I was trying to laugh. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he does I'm do all that. right. I'm okay. He, do, he does try to laugh to let you know he's okay because when he got <laughs> fucked up, dude, in yeah. Chattanooga, uh-huh. like he would like throw up and then he'd be like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm good, it. and then you start shadow boxing. Yeah, I'd be like, right, we can make it. I'm like Rocky, man. Sorry, right. dude. He we'll will sit it. there and like, <sighs> like say the speech that Rocky like gives to himself. Like he'll yeah. say it to himself. Yes, it's he, inspirational as fuck. Dude. Hell yeah! Cause you can't give up. As drunk as I was in Chattanooga, I knew I couldn't give up that night, especially in front of everybody. Like, nah, man. No, I can't let him. I can't look like a pussy out here in front of everybody. So I said, I'm doing it. I'm going to make it. And I kept pushing. Hell yeah. yeah. For, well, you did your sets, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. You did and both did your sets. sets. Yeah. If you work hard, you get to play hard. You do. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And Brandon yeah. plays the hardest. <laughs> Thank you, man. On the road, Brandon turns into a demon. Oh, that is true. Both times on the road. Hey, look at that boy. <laughs> In Birmingham, outside of Plum Bar, it was like pouring down rain. You remember that? Uh huh. And then I walked outside, and Brandon was out there, <laughs> and he was talking to this lady. He was like, "You like them torch lighters?" And she's like, <laughs> she's like "Yeah." He's like, "I'm gonna get me one of them. I'm gonna get me one of them." She's like, "Yeah, yeah. You do that." I don't even remember that one. <laughs> I know you don't, but I do. <laughs> That's funny. It must have been good shit. What was it, like the blue torch lighter? <laughs> the, Brandon, I'm going to be honest with you. There might not have been a torch oh, lighter. Fuck. This might have just been something you were talking about, dude. Uh, I don't know if she had a torch lighter or not, but she did uh, have a backwoods, so that's indicative of having a torch lighter. Okay, okay. Because you can't light that with a fucking dick, dude. Yeah. yeah. You're probably out there smoking, too, wasn't he? I don't think so. Yeah, when is he not, yeah. dude? Yeah. <laughs> not crack or cigarettes <laughs> no, or anything no. bad. No, nothing, nothing bad. bad. Nothing bad. It was a herbal tea medicine. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was completely legal. Yeah. If he was smoking it, it was completely yeah. legal. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Brandon, look at him, dude. That's yeah. a lot. He's wearing a shirt about yeah. forest fires. Yeah. You know, he, trying to teach y'all he obeys the law, man. <laughs> I, I support the law, man. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what's your Great favorite law? Tuskegee fireman. Uh, what's my favorite law? <laughs> fireman jacket. You said what's my favorite law? <laughs> so the like, dogs like, can't bite through. <laughs> <laughs> what's favorite your favorite law, law man? Mm. Man, that's a tough one. Let me think. Let me think. Damn, there's so many laws, but which one would I like? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you do something wrong, like you, you, I mean, if you do something wrong, you go to jail. That's cool. I feel like the that's 13... the best one I can do. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a lot of fucked up laws. That's true, man. Yeah, there right? is, fuck yeah. There is a lot of fucked up laws, oh. man. Like, man, it's crazy. What'd you say the law about uh, pouring salt? Uh, you can't. Well, you can't pour salt on railroad tracks. Or I know you can't do that, but there's one in Alabama where it's like you can't walk across a railroad track with an ice cream cone in your back pocket on a Sunday. What? It's something crazy what? like that. Like, yeah, it's like hi, look it up. Man, it's like hyper see. specific. Ice cream back pocket. Ice cream back pocket railroad law. Regional, 
legislature. <laughs> no, but there's like they got crazy laws like that, man. So you just know that something happened. Well, that's not it. Hold on, let me get no, on he's here. On, he's on oh. I, okay, in back pocket. If they want to be Why does Alabama have a law defining ice cream? In back pocket. Okay, it's illegal for a person to walk down. St- that's that's weird shit. Walk down the street with an ice cream cone in their back pocket. So I was a little off, but I knew it was something like that, dude. W- what the fuck does that even mean? W- how could you come up with this law? Back. It's because you're gay, man. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, they got an explanation, that. man. It's okay. It said back when most people got around on horseback, you know, horse thieves would put ice cream in their pockets to lure the horses away without being charged for stealing. What? So dude. they're scared of us stealing horses. Like we're gonna do that shit. That makes no sense. No, it doesn't. What do? I, I'm gonna have to ask Maddie about this one, dude. I didn't yeah. think horses were really that into ice cream. I didn't either. Uh, that's good to know, though. But what the fuck? Like uh-huh. this makes no sense. Ice cream is the hardest thing to transport. Yeah, and that like horse thieves. This had to have been like the late 1800s. Oh yeah, dude. It's hot as fuck. It's not like you're afraid. We got electric refrigerators yeah. like we do now, dude. How the fuck are you doing? Like, how is this a law, man? Yeah. It's bad years. Maybe we can only do it. In- <laughs> Bad fucking year. Maybe they need their fucking horses stolen, bitches. I don't know. Some of them. No. You might uh, be on to something, dude. I might be on something. Who but click on that, horse? man. I want to know more about this legislature right here. Let's click on it. Taste horse thieves? Alabama. Well, that's just, they're just going to tell you the next one. Ooh, let's see what this one is. In Alaska, it's illegal to give alcohol to a moose. Well, that makes sense. That's oh, yeah, that's law. definitely because you you playing with fire. Right? Them big motherfuckers. But it probably loose. takes so much to get them drunk, dude. Oh, They're hell They're so yeah. big. Yeah, they are huge. Arizona. Refuse what? a person. You can't tell somebody they can't have a glass of water, man. I mean, eh, I mean, yeah, I mean. Can you well, are you talking die? about like vendors or are you talking about somebody come to the crib? Like I There's have to give them a glass of water. There's a widespread belief that it's unlawful in Arizona to refuse a person a glass of water. I guess because it's so hot. Yeah. But it doesn't really say that's an official law. What's the next one, Brandon? Yeah, I got to know some more about this. Okay, Arkansas. so Arkansas. Arkansas. You, it's against the law to honk your horn in front of a sandwich shop at the 9 p.m. The fuck? Well, you know. Uh, well, gonna, well I, I would love to know the <laughs> origin. Are you going to fuck up the sandwich process? Okay. Is that this, a frog? This looks kind of illegal. Let's see. It says, a frog that has participated in a frog jumping competition Cannot be legally killed or, by extension, eaten. <laughs> Dude, you know what I think is the funniest part about this one? It, I equate it to, like, horse racing, you know? Like, once the horse gets past four years old, it's like, well, he's out of his prime. Let's fucking put a bullet in the back of his head. Uh, Can you imagine yeah. these fucking redneck-ass people with frogs? <laughs> They're like, he's past his prime, dude. His, <laughs> his fucking, his quads are degenerating, dude. Let's put him out of his misery. Let's just fucking smash they're like, it's frog leg time. <laughs> fry it up. Press, mm. press dismiss on that. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, man, you fry it up, you got yourself a meal. I love these, man. If you're yearning to wake up to the crow of a rooster, don't settle in Louisiana. No, Louisville, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> in this bolder country town, it's illegal to own these loud mouth fowl. You oh, can't have a okay. rooster? So you can't no. have a rooster. I mean... Oh, that's, that's just one county, dude. That's okay. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. I don't want a rooster anyway. They're not real Americans. Oh, man. <laughs> they can't say pickle isn't a pickle unless it can bounce. That doesn't make Do no pickles little... bounce, man? I, I don't know, man. Never they say it. a pickle yes, isn't a pickle one. unless it can bounce. Yeah. That's weird. What? Is I... that a... Connecticut... What, dude, what do you mean? Is that a well-known thing? Maybe Connecticut pickles are different. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> they have a different pickling process. I wonder what pickle we're talking I think talking it's about. the exact same. <laughs> I think they do it the same for everything that they pickle. I think that's kind of the point. I mean, uh-huh. that makes sense. That should be illegal anywhere. It says in Delaware, it's illegal to have a picnic on the highway. <laughs> well, yeah, that's dumb as shit. I mean, shit. that makes sense. Yeah. I agree. Well, somebody did it, so they had to make on it on the highway. Ah, come on, people. We got to be better. Than White, that. first of all. <laughs> oh, it's a oh in Miami Beach. It's against the law to sell any food, even the state celebrated citrus. You can't sell food. Okay, uh, that's weird. All them fucking restaurants. Dude, hold up. Look at that Florida citrus meringue uh, pie. Man, that, wait, okay. where? <laughs> you <laughs> it's, search it up. It's no, it's highlighted right there at the oh, end. Okay. I want to see what this is about. How to make it? Okay. Mm. I'm surprised. <laughs> 
Man, that looked good. If you tell Brandon is, <laughs> to do it, he'll do it. <laughs> yeah. He's the most loyal soldier. See what oh, they look hell like. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see. Well, let's. I want to see the end result. Come on. Yes. Oh, man. What yeah. kind of citruses do they use? Ooh, I'm thinking oranges because that's native to Florida. I think maybe it's some lemon. lemons, limes. Pre- is lime is, I feel like limes is citrus. What about that Persimmon maybe. Hmm. Cream of tarts. Okay, come on guys, tell me what it is. They ain't telling me. Peppermint meringue. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Colored meringue. Whoa, what is that, dude? <laughs> that's something I might need. Oh, they're just meringues, man. <laughs> I like the colored one. I might do that. I like the colored. You like the color ones? Yep, colored um, <laughs> meringue. Yeah, colored meringue. Meringue, Brandon. <laughs> I only said it twenty times. <laughs> colored meringue. <laughs> meringue. Maka fucking Raina. Remember that? Remember that last night? Oh yeah, that was. Oh, right. yeah. oh mm-hmm. that those two. Uh, that first two. of all, that brunette lady was drunk. Oh as hell as yeah, fuck, drunk dude. as fuck. Which I get it. I had that little tropical jug thing. That uh-huh. was nice, dude. It was thirteen dollars, but it was Ooh, nice. Dude. That's a pretty that. good price for how big it was, though. Probably a couple different. A outdoors. lot of ice, man. Uh, a lot of crushed ice. That's how they sneak it up on you, dude. Mm. Crushed. It's fun and shit. Yeah, it's fun until you're out of alcohol, dude. Unbelievable. Man. Bullshit. So it's very effective because I might try that next time, man. Yeah, dude. I got the famous blue raincoat. Blue from- carrot cow. Fat Sammy's. Fat Sammy's. Fat Sammy's. Wednesdays, which brand and co-host yep. now. Hell yeah, dude. Black Panther Hidden Dragon. Sorry, I studied. Black Panther Hidden Dragon. Yeah. Every Wednesday at Fat Sammy's. BPHD. Started at 8.30. Yep. Yeah, did they did some fun things where he asked you uh, oh, newly yeah. wedded questions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was cool. That was fun. I like that. Me too. Uh, I, think, I think we're going to start doing that more. That was really nice. Hell yeah. I love Brandon on the spot. <laughs> Can't beat it. I like br- asking Brandon questions, dude. Oh. I'll give you an answer. <laughs> Brandon, what do you feel? Do you feel like in today's society, the institution of marriage has been deteriorated by like um, kind of just a step away from tradition? Yes, yes, I do. I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of different versions these days of marriage. It could be anything. I mean, you could have a whole bunch of people in the marriage now. Uh, you don't have to do it. You could be like, you know what? We're married, but we're not married. Like we're still married. We can't afford the divorce type stuff. You know, so many. Business marriage, deals, mm-hmm. marriage, yeah, it's like it's 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 a lot. It's it's beautiful. It's different, and uh, it's 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 like a it's like a fusion barbecue kind of. You know, it's twisty. It's different. There you go. Mm. What about what about open marriage? How open do you guys marriage, feel about that? I mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna. Nah, man. The hell? No. no. <laughs> I, I can, no. You walk in there every time. I, the fuck is that? Oh, this is Earl. This is Fred. He's in my bed. Yeah. Coming on my show because somebody isn't fucking as as much as the other person. Big fucking yeah. Fuck. Every time I would be cool with it, but his name can't be Earl. Nah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> over the line, bro. <laughs> fuck Earl Ray Junior, man. You, you fucking Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> James Earl Jones. Oh fuck! Who did you say? Damn. James. Earl. He said yeah, Earl James Ray Earl, Jr. James Earl Ray is oh, the guy fuck. that killed Martin Luther King. Fuck! <laughs> I, I knew. You know that's the guy. I knew. You know. That. Uh, damn, man. He, he mixed them all. <laughs> fuck. No, but James Earl Jones and James Earl Ray. It's like one. Yeah. Difference. Yeah. Yeah. But he said Junior. Junior. Oh, so, he, so he put Martin Luther <laughs> King in there. Yeah. Because that's who killed over there. Yeah, he did it. You didn't even know. <laughs> it looked like he just committed a crime. You know what? <laughs> you didn't. I knew that. <laughs> no, that was the whole setup. <laughs> he played the badumts for Martin Luther King. Just said no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the worst day in American history. One of the worst days. One of them. There's mm-hmm. a lot of worst days. Well, give me the top three worst oh, days in no. America. Okay, well, he definitely 9-11 was really bad. Uh, nah, that? it ain't close. <laughs> I mean, it ain't uh, even close to the worst days in America, though. Okay, okay. Yeah. Worst throughout history. Let's see uh, what else happened. I'd say when they took the snack wraps away from McDonald's, that was a pretty dark day for me, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's Every closer. time they take a shamrock shake away from McDonald's, that's a bad day. That's kind of the beauty of the shamrock shake, man. It's I just love it seasonal. so much, though. I like that grimace shake. When am I gonna see that again, man? dude? First of all, that was terrible. Really? Man. It was. It I was. It was purple, and it tasted like vanilla, but worse. Like they added some kind of little extra flavoring in there, and it was awful. Mm. Yeah, it was like blueberry. <laughs> it's it like blueberry. Was it blueberry? So yes. it, it tasted blue, but it was purple. Yes. 
I don't I don't know, man. My it, to me it tasted like vanilla. Maybe I got a weird batch, uh, a weak yeah. batch. Oh, so it was just vanilla. With and I only drank half, like a couple sips of it. The rest of it, I like poured on my asshole in a oh, public park. That's understandable. Yeah, yeah, it was blueberry it flavored though. Yeah, I remember that. Blueberry. Because, yeah, like I was drinking, it, I gave it to my girl. She's like, "Oh, that's blueberry." I was like, "Yeah." That's I feel blueberry. like if I knew it was blueberry, I would like it more. Yeah, I think part of part of the factor is like you don't know what it's supposed to be, mm-hmm. so you're like, "Oh, this tastes weird." Yeah, it's like, have you ever like had like a a like you go to a fast food restaurant and you order like a Coke Zero in the drive thru and then you taste it and it's like Sprite and you're like, Ugh, oh, man. Mm-hmm. oh what the yeah. fuck is wrong with this root beer? Dude? <laughs> That's why you gotta get them frozen drinks, man. Like those are way better. Like you know how they got the frozen Coke and the oh frozen like lemonade. Taco Bell, dude. Mm-hmm. It, you you want to eat that? You want to drink that though when you're eating? Something? I see. That's my mm-hmm. thing. I yeah. don't. I want liquid. And like if I'm getting a dessert on its own. It has to be better than that, dude. Oh, yeah. it can't oh, be yeah. flavored ice, dude. No, no, no. I got to get a Blizzard, man. You've been hating on Blizzards. Mm-hmm. Blizzards are bogo right now, dude. Go get yourself one. Yeah, I don't you saw what Blizzard I pulled show. up with earlier? That fucking large. Oh shit! That fucking large ass nutter butter shake. Good shit. Yeah, I like shakes, but not Blizzards. Oh man! But the Blizzard, dude. Yeah. Wait, you scared of the thickness, dude? Yeah. Oh, I love, I like it. It. I love it thick. I like it. I get I love up it in thick. there, dude. That thickness, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. There's the Royal oh. New York Cheesecake Blizzard. Yeah. From Dairy Queen, the strawberry cheesecake, dude, oh, man. does nothing for me. Insanity. Let me show you the cheesecake. Not, Insanity. Even, not even a little bit. There's some blizzards that are ass. Like if you like the animal, the frosted animal crackers blizzard, dude, grow up. All right, dude. dude why was I that? search? I was damn. I was literally searching that. Oh one. shit, my that. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one's great, dude. I totally understand the appeal. It's just not really my okay. thing. All right, never mind. We're going back. Out I'm fake as fuck, dude. I'll switch <laughs> up right now, dude. Yeah, I was like, I was certain. As soon as you said, I, you better not have to. I was like, fuck. Like, you'll see it. I was typing it. Was that like, does sound better than oh, it's the, whatever you just said. Dude, cheesecake. I'm so tired of you people, man. <laughs> <laughs> that came off wrong. You My bad. <laughs> No, I, was talk, I, was talk, I was talking about mentally handicapped people, not oh, black yeah. people, dude. <laughs> I understand. I understand. No, nah. okay. I, I actually haven't tried it, man. I think I was just hating. I had a bad experience as a child with some frosted animal crackers, man. Oh, no. oh okay. Happened, man. So it's trauma because those things are not bad. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, I was a larger kid, and it was like, you know how they have the frosted animal crackers, the ones that are good, mm-hmm. and then they have those little bullshit ones with, like, the fucking weakest layer of frosting. It's, oh, like, yeah. not even frosting. Not even on there? Yeah, I bought those on accident, so I think I'm just holding a grudge, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take that out on you, Brandon. It's, a, it's okay. That's like me with tgi fridays man I've never one time been. Was i was great. a kid and i choked on a strawberry and they had to get the dude out there to help me the dude like the staff it was so bad <laughs> he had to like I, give you yeah, the a little bit because I, I couldn't do it i was dying and then he saved me i don't know what, what were you eating what was the strawberry a part of i don't remember i was just eating some fruit and being a kid i remember laughing <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. I was probably. Just eating some fruit and being a kid. I think there was some laughter involved. Uh, yeah, it's like involved. sometimes I remember stuff and I'm like, "What the fuck was that about?" Like, I don't know why this thing haunts me. Sometimes when I was a kid, I don't know why. I just remember walking in, and looking at all these people. It was probably like, I was probably like three, I think. And I just started crying. Everybody I want like, everybody to know he has. And everybody like what six the fuck? fingers up. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> put him on like <laughs> <this>. <laughs> all right yeah, fuck but, it. three Brandon, years Brandon. he literally just had six fingers <laughs> he just did this, did this to do three uh-huh. by the way that was insane yeah I was, my bad i was like so you got three four five and he got six that- dude brandon has the most unique pantomiming i've ever seen dude like have you'll you never seen, find anything like this have you seen the generational changes in pantomiming uh-uh like you know like like take a picture pretend like you're taking a picture just like pose for a picture? No, like you're taking the picture. You no. have... Yeah, okay. Is it? How would you do it? How would I take the picture? I don't... All right, get the picture ready. See? What kind of See, camera that's you... good. No, but he used a camera. The The crazy part is kids today, you you ask them, hey, pretend like you're taking a picture, and they go like this. Oh, because the phone. Makes sense. The phone, and then, you know, like, it'll, they did the same thing with like... Talking on the phone. Like, you guys, would, I would do this. Yeah. You guys would probably do that, too. They, you know, held it like this. Like, uh, it's a smartphone. It's wild, man. It's wild. Yeah, they wouldn't. They don't even know what one of these are. No, yeah. man. Did you, you, you probably, because you grew up with your grandparents. We still have a landline, dude. Yeah, right. Yeah. The Did landline? you ever have a landline? Are you talking about the one where you got to do that, kind of? No, or? just a regular phone at home. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Back in the so, day. y'all still had them, but the generation after y'all won't. 
Oh no, no, nah, nah. won't nah. have phones. Like There's no sister, use. She she's probably never gonna. She never really got to experience that. Like two years or three years, but by 2012, it was all over with. That's when you lost your landline. When the world oh, yeah, ended. Yeah, that's when that's when they started switching to cell phones and stuff. And then I would have to use the parents' phone because you know they wouldn't let me have a phone until I was like sixteen, man. Sixteen? Yeah. They didn't just, trust me. I was just talking to my friends about this. I was like, "What's the age that you guys are going to give your kids' phone?" And they both were like, "We're not giving." I'm like, "You're going to have to break down." Exactly. You're going to get them the down. phone first of all because parents are way more scared nowadays than they used to be because there's more threats. I feel like. You know, probably like what I'm saying is like you're not going to send your kid off to somebody else's house to spend the night if they don't have a way to contact you. Yeah. Like, you know, you know what True. I mean? But mm-hmm. you don't got to get them a smartphone, dude. Like that's you can just get saying. them one of those basic ass Flip text mm-hmm. call and that's it. And you, you can know. get them that pretty young because, I mean, that's all it yeah. does is literally text and, and call. Yeah. There's people out there, their entire like their children's entire lives is just them playing on a tablet yeah. or mm-hmm. like an Xbox or something which is like yeah let them have those things but in moderation dude yeah, yeah. I'm glad I ain't got kids because I'm a little motherfucker will be on that tablet all day <laughs> get away from me go pick up your tablet I made something to eat now leave me alone See, and then you're gonna <laughs> take it away and he's gonna start beating your legs dude. oh man he's gonna start yeah <laughs> he's gonna start beating dude. your legs and you won't even feel it because you're dude, diabetes I was a mob <laughs> boss with that shit man you uh, hear me? I was a mob boss with like, what with fucking phones and everything because like you know back then they are like you can't have a phone I know how to get phones. I would have phones hidden all over the house in spots. I'd be like, okay, this phone so is for that. Are you selling that. drugs, dude? This phone is for this. No, it was for uh, when I wanted to get on the phone and look at what I wanted to look at. You know what I mean. I discovered something. Porn. <laughs> yes. Pornography. Yes. You know what I mean. Yes. What year was this? Leave. <sighs> okay, so we discovered it around 2014, 2015. It's so probably around 2016, 2015, around that year. 16, 17. Back in the day. God, I'm old. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end. Of, that's the end of the first part. We got Charlikins on Charlie Man, Charlie mm-hmm. Swisher. Charlie's gonna be a good one. Look at that, Charlie Swisher. Hey, oh, <laughs> yay! This week's featured comedian. Uh, anyway, it's a little more about me. Uh, of the, of, I just moved to Huntsville, a little closer to my grandpa. Can help him out some. Uh, He's white, so just my grandpa. Yeah. No song and dance there. <laughs> Not enough rhythm. Uh, but now, you know, if he's getting older, so you know he needs help with things, right? You know, you gotta, it's the little stuff that counts, right? So, you know, I drive places for him, uh, I get his mail for him, I take his pills for him. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't gotten high yet, but god damn, it's my blood thing. <laughs> Voodoo. I'm innocent, dude. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> He's not. That's exactly what a guilty person would say, dude. A lot of them have said that. Like I said before, I think I specifically asked for him to not be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, JJ. Yes. Who we got here today, man? Dude, somebody's been here before, bro. Ooh, returning knows, guest. He knows, yeah. our, first Are, returning? our first returning well, guest? Well, well, I was hardly a guest that time. but There was one returning <laughs> guest, but the first episode got taken down for reasons <laughs> we will not disclose. <laughs> but uh, our first you know, returning guest that will stay returning, dude. Um, he is risen, dude. Give it up <laughs> for Charlie Fisher. Hey! Charlie Swisher, gang Swish. gang. Swish. He, he looks oh, like no. every European oh, yeah. depiction of Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep. How you been, man? Been pretty good. What episode number is this? 22? 22. 22. Wow, we're like episode number. It's about goddamn time. <laughs> <laughs> been waiting to get on this He's shit. Been what the fuck? On that one, dude. <laughs> I've been around you every fucking week, trying to be humble, not asked to be on the pod. Took 22 goddamn episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, that's why we had you on first. We should You know what? You want to know what? Not good enough. This is, this not is good all, enough. No, this is all my fault. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't give a shit. I forget. I'm just fucking around. I, I'll like, uh, like yeah. I, don't even, I don't even know who's going to be after... Ogre. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's well, so we're, we're up? Like, somebody's going to hear this <laughs> and get heartbroken. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we have no, somebody. We need to look no, at no, the schedule. Do. Yeah. We do have somebody. No, no, Scott no, no, Curtis, no, no, I, no, I, I think, but I, you know, he has picking. Our though. schedule, aka yeah. the napkin, we have everybody's <laughs> name written on. No, I don't actually give a fuck. I just couldn't believe you had a. Uh, uh, autistic Amelia Earhart's offspring over here on before me. <laughs> <laughs> he held us at gunpoint, actually. Mm-hmm. 
You're a <laughs> musicteer? Is that what they're called? Musician? That is absolutely not what they call it. You're literally that chick on a, oh, what the fuck's that podcast? You know the girl that's really deadpan? Uh, oh, come Abby. Abby Altov? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, she had that uh, the female rapper on, and she was like, so you're a musician? And she's like, I ain't no magician. <laughs> sexy <laughs> Red? Was it, was it Sexy I Red? I think it was. I, don't even, I only saw the clip. I think it was Sexy remember. Red. It yeah. could be it. Ski-yee. Yeah. Ski-yee. <laughs> Don just spit up on himself, dude. Ski-yee. Big baby Don. <laughs> <laughs> but on, we got some we got some shit. Will you play that first uh YouTube clip? Yeah, that one right there. Alright, you ready? Oh Ooh. yeah. You wanna walk us through this, Charlie? What the fuck is this? Alright, let's go. Wait, that- I literally don't know what this is. That looks like my drum kit maybe up there. That's not you? Give it a second. On drums, you mean? Yeah. I, I honestly, I have no fucking clue, dude. Did Jack dig this up? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. From 16 deep. years ago, man. dude. I think that I know what this is. <laughs> this is at a fucking camp. This is like the first. Uh, this is like the first music camp I ever like went to. I don't even remember what it was called. It was like, uh, what's that? Oh, no, turn the volume up. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Okay. Sorry, I gotta critique myself here. Even though I'm like eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm holding it down. I'm in Hell the pocket. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That's this is fucking crazy. I know this stuff. <laughs> like, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of like shit online that I'm on. I have no idea this existed. That's our intel guy. That did it. Right hey, there's, there's one video in particular I'm waiting to see if he fucking dug up. And if he didn't get that. He's he's good for getting this, but he should have gotten this Ooh. one thing. I okay. bet he did. I'm gonna ask to see that. Oh, I boy. Have notes. <laughs> because I got it on there, so we could pull it up too. No, so this thing. is uh, so I don't know. I guess it's quick. This is not the camp that I like. I would do this music camp every year because like growing up, I do like these open mic nights every week. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was called. Um, I don't know how to address this thing, but it's called Chicago Joe's Rock and Blues Camp at the time that I was there, and uh, like every summer. So you know, you're in a band. I mean, it's like it's a it's rock music camp. Like these exist all over the place. Oh, I know. But uh, but I, it was a big part of me. Like I don't know, probably from like eight to like fourteen. Like every week, I'd do like open mics, like playing drums, and uh, and then go to these camps in the summer. It was a ton of fun. You'd play all sorts of shit. I did bass some years. Uh, but this is, I mean, literally, this might be, like, the first time I fucking played in front of people. Hail, that's, though. That's what's yeah, in, I literally had no idea this existed. That's crazy. Yeah. And that I'm like, Ru- Ruthie World POV? What is this channel? That's crazy. You did private yeah. lessons for bass and drums. I did, for yeah, for, um... Uh, <laughs> what are you laughing about, Jay? Why do you, you read it so literally off the page? Like, God, you you do, also said it like yeah. you got them on yeah. something. He's like, you did private lessons. First of all, like, that's how people learn to play instruments. That's how people learn to play instruments, man. He gave uh, private lessons. I did also give. Oh, I did also. He did say give. Yeah, I gave Let me for the, uh, bitch. the information. <laughs> I, I guess another quick shout out the uh, Frank Hamilton School in Atlanta. It's like a folk music school. My dad teaches for them. There's some uh, teaches there sometimes. Uh, and yeah, so for a little bit, I was doing bass lessons. And uh, to be honest, though, like I don't know shit about folk bass or country bass. I would just kind of like I. Oh, here's the other thing. So like folk bass and country bass, it's literally. Boom, 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 boom. Like, it's two notes the whole fucking time. So I'd finish that in two weeks and then just be like, what do y'all want to learn? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyways, that's not funny, but I did do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it paid like 12. I literally, I quit my job at Publix and, uh, and I was like, I'm going to make all my money from music. And they were like, we paid. Fifty dollars every other week, and I was like, "I'm fucked. I can't. I can't do this." And and then Damn. I started working in the sewer. So, no, no, no. But they're like a. They're basically a nonprofit. So like, I shouldn't have been expecting any money from them. Uh, but uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, so you've been working. So that was recently then. That was like it was uh, maybe a year before I moved here. So okay. two years ago. Yeah, yeah. probably like two years ago. And I only did it for like they were little uh, eight week programs. I think I only did two of them. So I only worked there like sixteen weeks. But. Oh, okay, okay. I just thought I'd break down the math for you there. Nah, Dumb. He uh, needed it. <laughs> he needed it. <laughs> I stopped uh, listening once numbers get <laughs> I would just like to point out 
D- Jack said that you were on this podcast before, obviously. We already mentioned that. Mm-hmm. But I like that uh, he said, featuring Mr. Got Jokes. <laughs> I'm glad that this is catching on. <laughs> yeah. Sci-Fi Got Jokes is catching on. I told people at work, like, they need to look up Sci-Fi Got Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sci-fi, if you don't want people to call you Sci-Fi Got Jokes, maybe don't make it your name on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Uh, that that is a good uh, black comic trope is the nickname. My other favorite is my other favorite is the first line being, "How are you, white people?" Or like, "How's it going, white people?" <laughs> hey, white <laughs> people. Oh my God. Like, I don't know where the secret, Brandon. Maybe you can fill me in as well as half a dumb. But maybe <laughs> maybe you could fill me in on like if there's like a secret black comic community where they share like opening one liners. <laughs> so I sort of got I've only heard three different ones. But <laughs> I, the only black com- room we got is Mike Sales. Yeah, dude, the dish. That was that was fun doing that. that. Fun, I'm gonna it? chill a little bit next time. I don't need to start freestyling and saying peckerwood at the next black open mic <laughs> i got a little loose he killed that shit. <laughs> i did get a little out of control <laughs> dude brandon can you look up a video on youtube for me man yeah i got you what's it called <laughs> look at russell westbrook <laughs> you know what the announcer video oh my god oh, this was this. the craziest I, this is wild look up oh, uh shit. russell he westbrook drop a white slur? Well, I can't even say it, dude. Oh, uh, no. Announcer. He can't say it. I can't. Crazy <laughs> announcer. You, yeah, let yeah. Dom tell you. All no, right. no, no. I, yeah, announcer. Crazy. I'm going to put crazy. crazy. Yeah, it, it should pop up, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yes. It's Let's this. See. It's that. Oh, my God. Let's see what you see. Turn the volume on. Oh, no. Restart it, press pause, and then turn the volume on. Alright, here it is. Russell looking for Ferguson in the corner for three. Westbrook is out of his cotton picking mind. Oh, fuck <laughs> that shit. What the hell? <laughs> Man, what the fuck? Holy <laughs> shit, dude. That's that, wild. That is, that's the wildest one, dude. <laughs> that, no, that actually is the craziest one of those I've heard. A lot of times it's somebody oh just gosh. having a slip up or yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> but oh my god. He's that's out of crazy. his picking oh, my yeah that's that's new i never heard that one that's, it might have never heard that no i have but not on a stadium oh, like that yeah. that shit yeah, i think uh, it was the playoffs <laughs> oh my gosh it might have just been better if he said the N word. That's yeah, almost worse. Yeah, dude. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Cotton picking mine. If he wins this, he gets his freedom. <laughs> oh my God. like his Damn, life that depends on it. That's I'm, a dude right I'm, mad, I'm mad that he got fired. I mean, that's, that's he kind of looks like he got some black in him, right? Yeah. No, man. <laughs> well, like, uh-huh. He looks little. more like cotton yeah. than I black, mean, dude. <laughs> Look, I mean, if you consider man. ownership as part of his identity, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he comes from a long line of uh, <laughs> of people saying that. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A black dude would never wear a polka dot tie, first of all. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Unless it was a zoot suit. <laughs> Throwback to... <laughs> A, a previous Callaway episode, days. I don't know. I can't even remember which one it is either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But I know we talked about it. In fact, actually, yeah, Jack found that one bit. So all of those camps I would go to, uh, except that one, I would literally wear like a purple or white suit every time. My grandma would buy me like fucking uh, like fedoras to wear with it too. <laughs> <I> would, <laughs> Oh, all right, whatever, y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to give y'all some <laughs> shit look, look, right now. Hold on. <laughs> Go to that thing that says uh, Charlie Fisher with the clout right uh, there. And then, yeah, go to that second video. I don't know what that is. And just, right uh, yeah. Hold on, let me. Yeah. Oh, ahead. there's another Ruthie World. Yeah, I don't, I had no clue this shit existed. Is that you in the drum? Oh, shit. This is actually Chicago Jazz. Yeah, this is uh, U2 Sunday Bloody Sunday. Look at that. Hey. And you're on the drums, man? Yeah, I am hey. on the drums. Hey. This asshole with the guitar is blocking your face. Yeah, right? dude, what and a fucking smoke. dick. I'll say, I can't remember. I know that's uh, Maddie Money Penny playing keyboards. He's a good singer. I can't remember. Aaron's that guy playing guitar. All right, me- never mind. It's actually shit. My bad. <laughs> no. How the fuck did he find? I'm just so curious because I've never seen any of this. Uh, Jackson. He's monster. sweating over there. Yeah, dude. He's like, yeah. what else? What up, dude? <laughs> Digital footprint is real, Charlie. Hey, there did used to be. <laughs> I did have I did have an N word video on YouTube for a while. I had to get, it was like it was a parody like rap video for a friend. He wrote, he, he wrote it. I was like, I'll say it. And I'm just hoping he said he took that shit down. And now I'm like, uh oh. Hey, uh, look at those other links on there, Brandon. <laughs> oh, let's, let's look. Let's look. Let's oh my god, I hope that didn't that third fucking one. That third one. I don't filter through the cracks. All right, let's see. To be fair, oh. I was like 
Uh, let me get this. 15, it was a different time. <laughs> no, that's, okay. that's not it. Oh, you, this you is the same one. <laughs> but look, my favorite thing that he also, put. Also, I kind of sounded like shit there, but anyways, <laughs> I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the, uh, he put on there, uh, go to the Facebook. Oh, hold on, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, he's got the Juicy right J verse. Dude, I can't, I can't, it won't pull up, but the Juicy J verse, but I love how it has one like. <laughs> 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 That's it. Yeah. How did they have two comments in one life? <laughs> yeah, shout out to this random guy. Oh, Anthony Burden yeah. was the funniest fucking kid in middle school. And then he went to a different school. And I feel like I feel like that dude made me funnier just being around him. Random guy. Not even mm. haven't talked to him since, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, the damn. one guy that liked my video, so he's pretty <laughs> <laughs> Hell, shout out A B. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Yeah, see if you click on. I don't know why it's, it, might, it must be taken down. All right, if we're doing if we're doing this, I can give you the one video I was worried about Jack finding. Uh, oh hell yeah! I don't yeah. think it's see. I don't think yeah, he found. I mean, you already just dropped your. You, you yeah, no, no, nah, that one. That one I'm pretty confident is gone. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was a. Uh, it was a music video. It, it was a music video called. Um, dick battle and it was like <laughs> it was like a rap battle but two dudes rapping about whose dick is bigger I, it was all my my friend wrote the whole thing uh shout out ruben and uh i don't know it was honestly it, it i mean it was really funny but it it needed to come down because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i we just like filmed a music video at a beach and did these like funny verses uh and uh yeah anyways i i said it whatever <laughs> <laughs> i mean anybody who doesn't think any white guy has said it or a white oh, person? Oh yeah, yeah. You're, you're just lying to yourself. Thank you, say, Dom. Thanks for sticking up for me there. <laughs> I will. I will. And you're rapping somebody Uncle else's Dom. lyrics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got me fucked up. I ain't no Tom. Well, Tom, he, well, no, ain't also, no Tom he, ass nigga. Uncle Dom. Uncle Dom. Your Uncle Dom. Uncle Dom's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dom's two bedroom. Yeah, hey, two very yep. spacious bedrooms. Yeah, yeah, we're in one of two bath too. And don't you forget it. Yeah. That ain't no half bath in there. Hell no, it's a full. We got shower. the toilet and a shower. Hell yeah, curtain up and everything. Dude. Garnier fruit tea stocked up. Hey, in the gas it. bath. It makes your hair smell so good, dude. The fruit teas. Yeah, sir. If you're a lady. <laughs> No, I can get behind fruit teas. Yeah, man. Can if you I can't tell, it? I'm pretty into shampoos. I try to go no sulfates, though, oh, so I don't okay. fuck around with fructose or whatever that. Loris, what is it? Fructose, Loris? What the what? fuck? Garnier, Garnier fruit, fruct- fruct- my bad. Fructose is about sugar. Yeah, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured that's why it smells Dom so good. Dom also probably should be avoiding that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> He's like, little for the hair, little for the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and he uses that exact yeah, motion. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks for putting it on him and not me. Right after I did it, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, you we'll dick bad <laughs> over there. A little here, a little conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> I prefer to get mine from the tap. <laughs> uh, all right, go to YouTube. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Uh, you can just use the tab. It's already up, Brandon, by the way. Okay. Just use this one? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I like when the guest teach you how to do it. All right, so what do you want to see? Okay, search AR Coventry. A R. You know, you oh, spell A-R, right. A-R, uh, right. Let's yeah, see. Scroll uh, down. Let's see if you yeah, I commented on this. Sick. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. Tra- hey. oh yeah. Let's oh yeah. Wait. Brandon. Congrats, Brandon. On, hell uh, yeah. Brandon, yeah. the Black Panther. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> so awesome. which one do you want? I think y'all can see which one it is. Okay, this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know, my friend's that's not t- you, right? That's me. That's that's him. Him. Yeah, I'm like 16 there. Dude, do you <laughs> see the nose, man? <laughs> it just sprouted. <laughs> I don't know, my friends always get a kick out of those. They This is for a math project. For real? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. TV. Oh. Urkel. <laughs> yeah, my balls hadn't dropped yet. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> don't worry, it gets better. But you could use this Dom for some of those math classes. <laughs> I did get an A. 
I'll pay you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> it's just <laughs> basic, basic. Uh, what, you forgot? Calculus. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cal, cal. <laughs> cal, cal. So just to fill everybody in, that's MC Circle right there. Oh, okay. And in a minute, we're about to have Dr. Sphere coming. <laughs> to subject myself to that. I was just so confident that Jag would have found this. I was already preparing myself. So why bother? (laughs) (laughs) To the three. Hell yeah, dude. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Juggling with one hand. You see that? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> He's usually people oh! use, <laughs> use three balls. <laughs> I didn't know how. I didn't know. How. <laughs> Honestly, I won't lie. The whole thing going to do something to the very end. See? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at him, dude. <laughs> with them circles. <laughs> I cannot believe this is Dude, I, uh, it, you see it has 175 views. There were 200 people in my class. That's a single, like, only 25 people didn't watch it. It's good engagement, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> yeah, so that's the beginning. So I, just to give you asked me to do a song for you guys. I just want you to have, like, a base level of what it might be like. Oh, dude, well, oh, yeah. that was amazing. Well, <laughs> that was good. You think we'll be ready to go? Live show? We can announce it right oh, now. Oh, yeah, by the live show. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Go ahead. Yeah, to let the people know. On the live show on May 10th, we're getting a new intro song, shot, sung, rapped mm-hmm. by Charlie Swisher. Hell oh, yeah, hell dude. Fucking it's going to be shit. Hell yeah. You Not Charlie it? Swisher. MC Circle's coming back. Oh, MC yeah. Circle and Dr. Spheres. Oh, yeah. Do you, do you want to do it? I mean, we're going to have it pre-recorded anyway, but do you want to do it live or pre-recorded? Well, we'll see. I don't know about that. I get <laughs> yeah, let's put him on the spot. Right on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, dude, no, that's nah, what this is fine. for. <laughs> I could maybe do it live. I'll let you hear it. I still haven't even sent you a recorded version. So we'll, we'll just, because you might, you know, I'll have some different options and then, and then we'll go from there. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll do it live for the live show. I, I would do it. I Hell do yeah. It. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm also just excited for that live show in general. Come out, people. Hell so. yeah. May 10th. It's going to be a banger. I mean, mm-hmm. we're going to have all oh, kind yeah. of shit. We're, oh, we're, yeah. we're fine tuning it right now. That JJ just sits over there and looks like that when I talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. He'd, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> if you want a cream pie dumb, come out to the show, dude. Hell yeah. It's fun. Cream Brandon, pie, any it. of us. Not like that. Nobody <laughs> eating really cream pie. We're not cream. You know what I mean, the pie. I would like to specify I'm just a guest on this show. I was asked to be here. <laughs> pie. Yeah, it's gonna be good shit. We're throwing a Diddy party, dude. <laughs> no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You yeah, probably would have. They would have loved you at the Diddy parties. Oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't go. <laughs> I would have went in there. They're like, come on, Brent, I'm glad I didn't go. Like you got the invitation. <laughs> uh, if like, I did, oh. I know Pity said that nobody wants your ass there, nigga. No, I'm not. If I was in there. And after I'd and after fucked. all that, he did not get a a, a pub sandwich. No. <laughs> no, I'm not getting no buffalo none of that shit. Did you hear the conspiracy theory that they think that 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 what was that the Baltimore Bridge that fell was a mm-hmm. distraction for P Diddy? Oh, oh my God! God. People, people are think that, people bro. are fucking stupid. Yeah, they are. They're like, I mean, you got to be the dumbest <laughs> son of a bitch in the world Brandon to even believe like, that. They person. are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, dude. Yeah, that's no, that's weird. stupid. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Distraction? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's some crazy shit. Did you believe it for a little bit? No, man. Because okay. I was like, I was like, that's too much. That's gonna put him in deeper shit. Why would he put himself yeah. in deeper shit? Dude, my one thing with the conspiracy theories, like, I'm not saying the government's never been up to no good, but 90 percent of the shit they'll just do right in front of your face. Like, yeah. they don't need to hide it. You know, <laughs> it's true. built into the fucking system. They don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What Look are you going to do, man? Yeah. All these senators are Except fucking... Except for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> 2024. I got a hat. Let's go Brandon Trump <laughs> doing I bet you do. I'll, I'll insert the picture right here. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, my boy sent it to me. I had to hide it because, like, Oh I, yeah! Like my cousins were coming over. I was like, I can't have them see this out here. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even... Uh, damn, I started the sentence already. Fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got nothing on it. I just, you know, I think I think everybody just wanted a new election, not the same one over again. But fuck whatever. yeah, these yeah. old motherfuckers, yeah, man. I know they're just remaking everything now. Uh, yeah, it's exactly. It's another reboot. Dude. <laughs> it's but, probably gonna be straight to streaming as well. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking uh, Ghostbusters the election because they'll both be dead by the time we vote. <laughs> it must be true. Oh, you never dude. know. Because ghost, old, you get it. How old is how old is fucking Biden? Let's see. 80, 82, 81? That's too. That's way too old that, to be. And, and Trump is seventy. That's too old to yeah, be. He's on in terms of like two. Let's yeah, see. for real, dude. Let's be honest. Okay, so this dude is eighty-one years old. Eighty-one. Uh, come on, man. man. Come on, now. You're, and you're Trump's damn near probably like seventy-eight. He's yeah, I think he's like yeah, he's only a couple years shit. younger. Yeah, yeah. seventy-eight, Same. seventy-nine. These people, get mad at this point. these people shouldn't be in charge of anything. Now, I guess we're on the topic one-on-one in the ring. Who do you think has it? Oh, it's Trump. Trump yeah, we all know it's that's Trump. That's a big thing. Boy. It's a big. Yeah. That's He's the thing. It's just three. weight. That's the thing. It's it just would, weight. It it's would just look. Weight. It would look awful. Like they would just be like rolling around. You ever seen like old people fight? Uh, those clips of old people fighting, and one of them just turns, and then like nothing really happens. All right, no, I've never seen any videos of your. Can family you look up elderly? elderly. <laughs> Elderly street beefs. Elderly. I would love to see that. Actually, I would love to. Elderly fight. Oh, old people fight, and there's got to just be so many injuries, man. Yeah, and you just got to accept you're going to shit your pants during it. Oh, I mean, oh it, oh, the, the muscle sad. control's already uh, so loose. Uh, elderly store nah, owner like fights no, back. Not, you need two elderly people fight. Yeah, let's do two. Dude. Yeah, I don't want to see some I don't want to see <laughs> shit. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> two elderly yeah, men. Yeah, you should watch there that old Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, yeah. dude. <laughs> Let me see if they got out. Oh, Let's God see. damn, dude. Let me no, see. Dude, that's a, they don't have it on there. It's just an interview. Right. <laughs> Gosh, girl. Man, come on. Half this episode's bread and look at that. Come on, people. They, okay. Fuck it, dude. Now, Pull up restricted sense. video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the algorithm's gonna send yeah. like they old dudes fucking it. up a young guy because cause all the boomers are like, see, we still got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fight. Okay, here we, hopefully this shows something. Oh, it says in blocks. Bahar? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's not even America. We need American Okay, fights. American fights. <laughs> Those people yeah. are actually like 43 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let, me see. Let, me just, let me just get straight to the point with these two. Two old people fighting. Oh, yeah. Damn. That Holding sounded, hands. Painting. <laughs> that sounded bad saying out loud. Oh, that was for your video, whatever you were talking about, your grandma. What? Two elderly people holding hands. Oh, here it is. You're talking about your grandma on sci fi and Bryce's show. Oh, this ain't. Oh, come on, Come on, (laughs) y'all. They just. Okay, okay, here we go. The way old. Oh, we, or we could just watch that scene from The Irishman, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a Confederate flag shirt on on the fucking <laughs> the cart. Oh, oh shit, dude. I like cart, this cart versus cane. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, she's oh, got a matching shirt. They got shirt. matching <laughs> flag t-shirt. Dude, they spent, they spend dude. their weekends at Walmart, hey, dude. I guarantee no it. They just that was a Florida that license plate. You already knew that. <laughs> Here, we Here we go. Maybe this is... Okay, there, there we go. go. Oh, See, this yeah, is exactly dude. what I'm looking for. Yes. Damn. That dude See, fell I'm... for like three oh, seconds. Oh, he knows it. Look at Yo, that strut. the fact <laughs> that he got back up. Respect. Fuck him up, dude. I'm all with the checkered shit. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. oh. know what that left? Oh. Dude, that was, that was, a, yeah, that was like a gravity in space. Like you hit somebody, but you go back. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he punched him so hard, he flew back. It's like watching Godzilla and King Kong. <laughs> it's fucking slow motion. Oh, my God. Where that dramatic movie? Oh, that's another one. Godzilla, version. King Kong. Who's Trump Biden? Godzilla, King Kong. Huh. Ooh, I feel like. Well, which one's a well? King Kong uh, grabbed that woman by the pussy, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and Joe Biden's a lizard. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good call. Good call. Yeah. yeah. Damn, dude. What country is this in that everybody's fucking built like me? Well, but, <laughs> it's skinny as shit. <laughs> Armenia. Uh, that one guy's. Getting, yeah, you're right. It's Armenia. Yeah. <laughs> I am Armenian. That's how the whole out. building is great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's see if they do something else. I'm going to see if they, they doing anything. No, dude intervened. Okay, good. Yeah, dude. They that's need that's how stop. it will look. That was, that's These exactly guys should not be fighting around a curb. Yeah, they shouldn't have fought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about drunk old man fighting down there in the corner, dude? Hold up. Let me see. I'm going to pause this. You said drunk old. <laughs> down, down, like by the shit save. Right but yeah, yeah. Let's see what that Let's is. Let's see this, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, this is good. I don't know. Oh, oh, shit. Saint, this is Ace Prater versus Kid Rock. We are not fucking around no more with shit. 
I just wanted a whole lumber, but no, I can't haul lumber because I'm fucking the truck. You can't haul lumber because all you got is a fucking ATV, dude. <laughs> you take ten two by fours at a time. <laughs> He's gonna go through the gate and get cut in half. Oh, they're literally just arguing. Yeah, they're just arguing yeah. the whole time. This ain't so no yeah. fight. <laughs> Wait, skip forward some. See if they start throwing hands, dude. Or is this just a year? Nah, he I, he did the mini scroll through yeah, it. They oh, fight oh, oh they dude, just, my bad, right. man. I should have I don't even think that dude could get up and fight. I don't know. It looked like he on a wheel thing. You uh, yeah. The whole second half is just them arguing about yeah. whose baby is it really. <laughs> <laughs> they got the same baby mama. Do you uh? No, so you you like business, right? I like business. Did you did you start a business in uh, the Middle East? Dom, you better cut to the chase here because I don't know what the fuck you're you guys business about. Turban Outfitters. Oh, oh my mm. God. Are you, so he went through my Twitter, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those were before I ever did stand up. I was like, I got to just test the waters a little bit. Yeah, I opened a business in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia called Turban Outfitters. <laughs> uh, let me think what else was on there. Um, Oh god damn! I, there's some bad jokes on there. There's and I just started posting again so, <laughs> so, on Twitter on a uh, on X. Excuse me. Oh, I ain't calling <laughs> it that shit. <laughs> Fuck no. But uh, you need to follow me, dude. I oh well, I don't know how much. Uh, yeah, I do need to follow yeah, you. Trust me. Who am I kidding? I want to see it. You, I want to <laughs> see it. Dude. The shit up. The shit I'm. I mean, I've seen a rice play video videos. before, but <laughs> I mean, there's, there's some on there. I don't say it's exclusively exclusively that, but we, the majority. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I stumble across one, yeah, I tag Sci-Fi. Man. I want to tag you now. <laughs> do you do you do the race play videos on Twitter, dude? What do you mean? That's where I found it. Oh, that's the origin of race yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. bad, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm also into that. I just like when they say it with a W at the beginning. <laughs> oh. Hey, Charlie said he said the N word on camera. Yeah. He has long hair, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check, Check it out. We'll get that clip. For Don's yeah. like, hey, try to find that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pull up dick battles. <laughs> Uh, yeah, turbin. Yeah, I, that was like. I mean, I feel like we probably. Oh, I don't know. Or like, I feel like everybody did the same little journey. Maybe not Brandon though, no, but I of did. like, of uh. Oh, you trying to like post some jokes first? To, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. back then I used to try to do everything. I would do everything but get on the stage. I would always yeah. have like I have a whole book from 2018 that I just one day just put to the side and never even looked at again. Hell yeah, it, it's. <laughs> It's confused. It's kind of worth going back sometimes, but also it's like you probably outgrew all that shit already. But every once in a while, I try to find a joke from back in those old ones. Because, like, he's saying that, did y'all have, like, uh, uh, you know, jokes written for a while before you ever went up? Fuck no. Really? Not a one. Not a one, really. What I about did, you? yeah. yeah okay, I posted yeah. a lot of shitty Instagram and social media content before I started doing stuff. Oh, well, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had that. I guess that, that. I guess you get it out that way somehow, yeah. Well, it's kind of like, uh, I do actually remember Carson saying this on the podcast, that it's like, the f your first five, it's like, okay, I get to draw from everything I've thought of for the last, like, couple years. Or at least that's how it was for me, too. Uh, but then... Um, but now, now we're here, and I'm like, "Where's the new material at? I got nothing, dude. dude who are you fucking telling us? <laughs> I, I, dude, it's yeah. I finally How long got you been a on it? little bit cooking. Oh, you got some cooking. Oh, I, fi I finally, I feel like I came out the other side. I mean, that's the ebb and flow mm -hmm. of it for sure. But I think I'm coming out the other side with some stuff, or at least it's. I don't know if it's good or it's just less terrible than all the because like oh, you try those new ideas. It's there's nothing worse than when you don't even believe in it going yes. up. You're like, I know this isn't. I shit. know this. I shouldn't even say it. Yeah, I shouldn't yeah. even practice it right here. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it because I have nothing. Yeah, else. yeah. I, it's. I mean, it must be part of it. Like it's good we're doing it, but God damn it, dude. That it it, are, it hurts before you even go up. So. I'm telling you though that um I don't want to give away your joke, but the, the mm -hmm. cleats thing that. made me laugh so fucking. You think hard. the cleats is good? I, I wasn't sure about that. That was my dad, second. Mows the lawn and cleats. cleats. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I did. All right. So like, I guess this ruins the joke. But I have not seen my dad mow the lawn and cleats. But one time, uh, they cut a, a stump up in the yard. Like they got rid of like a stump, and uh, this man. Uh, got the extension cord out, connected it to a vacuum, and went out and vacuumed the yard to get the sawdust up. <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> Literally to the point that the neighbor uh, went up to like my stepmom and was like, hey, yeah, I saw Eric out the other day, and he... Uh, he had the vacuum in the lawn. Is he? <laughs> is he okay? <laughs> That's a wild thing to do. No, it's insane. He just like he was like, I don't know how to get the sawdust out of here. <laughs> He's like, I'll vacuum. I'll say, yeah. Me and my dad are pretty fucking similar because I could probably see me doing the same thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
No, okay, I'm good. I'll try the cleats bit more then. Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, fuck, I might do it tonight. I don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing a new joke tonight. I'm like opening with the etch nanny. I'm sorry, Kim, in advance. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, I, I have faith in it, dude. I have faith in it. You haven't told Honestly, it at all yet? No, I've said it like maybe two or three times. Oh, okay. Honestly, I'm starting to think squeezing a new one, even like when it's a show. Squeeze in just, especially if it's like a small joke. Squeeze mm-hmm. in one new one in. I think is maybe a really good idea. Like, cause it, it brings that energy of like, uh, I don't. It's new to you too. Yeah. So like, so the rest of your set you can rely on, but that one joke you're like, all right, this is still exciting for me because I haven't said it a hundred times, and and like the crowd is gonna feel like, oh, something new is happening. Yeah, here. they'll feel it in you. They can see it in you whenever. Yeah, you're excited yeah, they, about d- they really can, dude. Yeah. It's, it's that's been the wildest part of stand up is like this whole like relationship with the audience because we were talking about like i've done music my whole life Mm -hmm. and uh i mean i love music and stuff but like i don't really i haven't really performed since like literally back then when i was still like a teenager at the oldest but uh like i don't there's a similarity to it for sure which everybody's heard because they talk about like you know rhythm and your jokes and stuff Mm -hmm. like that but uh but the way it's almost like it's almost like the audience is your instrument like you're like playing off of them yeah and uh when I thought of that on the way over, I was like, God damn, that's so fucking deep. I got to say that. But it's it, that wasn't shit. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, that was gay as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I get it, though. I get it. Though. But that, I, it's 100% right, though. Well, you, but then you see, you okay, all right. So, like, to uh, uh, Jalen Brown, episode one, shout out. Shout uh, out. I miss you, Jalen. Well, uh, I guess he's about to go to Alaska. But, um, uh, like, he's somebody who plays the fucking crowd. Oh, God. Like, yeah. big time. And, like, I am, I am envious of that envious just meaning like i need to sharpen that myself but like yeah he's so like far into it like yeah that's when people say like this person doesn't give a fuck no Jalen. it for real dude for real man for real doesn't. <laughs> dude, <laughs> and i love it about i don't care what the crowd is what they look like he'll say the joke that he thinks is, that's almost in a norm mcdonald way dude. yeah no it's like um, it feels like purely instinctual or something yeah. like it's like he's he's only it's it's almost as if he doesn't second guess himself, which I'm sure he does, but like he knows to lean into it, I guess. I don't know, but like I definitely don't have that yet. Dude, but, yeah. I was in the audience when Jalen was performing one time, and he brought up like a Popeye's chicken box <laughs> up there. Okay, yeah, I didn't see this. And he handed it out into yeah. the audience and like opened it, and it's just a jar of Vaseline. <laughs> And he's like, everybody take some. Loose Vaseline in a Popeye's box. Just, yeah, it's not. Not in the No, it's just container. a slab of yeah. Vaseline. Oh, my God. Inside yeah. the box. And I took, like, a decent amount because I thought it was going to be an activity of some sort. And then he never addressed it again oh in the set. And so I'm just sitting there, and it's, like, melting in my hand. And I'm like, this oh is God, something, dude. dude. I this is, yeah. I you knew I was ash. <laughs> But Charlie, you're uh, you're you're. I a just started jerking work. off. I don't know. <laughs> oh, good Sorry, idea. JJ. He's about to compliment me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're like I, I know. Like you get compared to Mark Norman because that's who you are. You're always yeah. on. And when you kill, when Charlie kills, he murders. The only two time uh, to get the showcase back to back from stand up. Yeah, Live. I did hit the showcase back to back. Uh, that was a interesting. Oh, and uh, Dom was just on it. So fucking shout out, hit. y'all! I swear I'm to God, I'm fucking believable. I Charlie, this. the I, first I, one. I, I, no, he just told me to be quiet. There, he just told me to be quiet. I swear on my life, I put that shit on silent. It's on. I have the shit flipped to silent. It's just that it's a fucking iPhone four, so nothing fucking oh, works. What on the it. hell, Jesus. Kendall? <laughs> and it was Kendall too. Yeah. I know y'all gotta go play laser tag. Yeah. <laughs> I got a busy That's schedule, man. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> um, no, but dude, I love I-, I love your style of comedy, and and you you were like that. you're like that with Jalen too. Like you're gonna do your material, and you're gonna go hard. I feel like if if it's not going good for you, you go harder on that. Don't uh, you do that? I honestly, I think all it is is that uh, my shit is so uh, I don't want to say formulaic, but like. It's pretty fucking by the beat, you know what I'm saying? Like my shit is very like set up punch, and so even when it's going bad, I don't have a fucking option except to keep saying the jokes exactly as they are. Like uh, uh, we just did something fun at Cannon Bar, the mic that uh, uh, Sierra Moses hosts. Shout and, out, uh, yeah, yeah, shout out yeah. Sierra Moses. Yeah. Uh, she had a fun little idea where we like uh, wrote three minute sets for each other. You didn't know whose you were gonna get, um, and. Uh, it was i felt like it worked for like alex in mine which first off it was just fun seeing somebody else do your material mm-hmm. like how would they interpret it uh but my shit i can write out so word for word that it like it comes out almost the same which 
almost feels like a diss to my material but like uh you know no. i i don't have any choice except to like keep doing what i do you know and because uh, like you write jokes for people you have have i five dollars on fiverr 2016 oh i mean i made a post nobody paid for me <laughs> why jack say you got you made three three hundred and eighty dollars Right. Wait, what the fuck, dude? Were people buying shit? Because I didn't write a single fucking <laughs> yeah, 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 You might have some money, bro. The, Tom. What does know, it say? Know, he misread that shit, didn't Tom, he? No, no, it, it says, offered to write jokes for $5 on Fiverr in 2016. Made $308,803 from it. That's no, obviously that's a joke. <laughs> a joke, Tom. You think he made $300,000? I, 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 I read it as $300. <laughs> I thought it was a decimal. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's that, fair. That's fair. Yeah, In Europe, they use the dot. six digits. Numbers. I'll give you that. Six digits. <laughs> JJ, <laughs> people are not supposed to know what goes on these papers. <laughs> we do it every episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah actually, do. this is what we base the episode yeah. on. Let me see that shit. Give me that shit. Okay, I want to see it. It. what else is on here. Uh, yeah, from Decatur, Georgia. You got that. Graduated from Decatur High, Georgia. Less than a 3.0 GPA. How do you know that? <laughs> Same here. Uh, yeah, dude, could not get that hope scholarship. But uh, <laughs> no see. hope, dude. <laughs> yeah, hopeless scholarship. Uh, went to Bermuda. Yeah, Bermuda's big. Shout out my friends Tyler and Sarah Smith. Uh, been to Bermuda twice. It's a really cool place. Bermuda, Bahama, like Bermuda the triangle. Triangle. Mama, pretty mama. Dude, we were cracking up at work the other day, doing uh, instead of instead of like all those islands places, just being like Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> Gary, Indiana. <Hey. laughs> <laughs> just all the worst places the gaza strip come on syria <laughs> that's fucking good. darfur uh uh fucking chlamydia ridden whores come on <laughs> it's been bars no. <laughs> hey that that intro song he rapped uh he did it for us outside of uh what was that straight to l uh yeah outside of straight Bro, to l that shit was fire I hope it, yeah okay i hope it's i put it behind a uh uh, a specific beat I had that like I'd, I'd already had for something else, but uh, I feel like it sells like the clown college kind of comedy. But it feels like like a, a Eminem type, uh, gorillas <laughs> type like beat. Okay, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. What I'm talking <laughs> up about it. I'll send it to you. <laughs> so you don't fuck with Eminem's that shit. the greatest rapper of all time, right? Mm-hmm. Oh no no no! This is what I want to ask you. Mm-hmm. Top three. Okay, Give me top, top three rappers of all time. Uh, so definitely Kendrick makes the list. Okay, uh, Kendrick Lamar because uh, I take into account a lot of shit. So like. Eminem, we're talking technicality and like skill, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of people would agree that uh, rap, uh, whatever album Rap God was on, I think it's the one that shares an album cover with "License to Ill" by Beastie Boys. Like it has a plane crashing as the album cover. Um, uh, that one, he hits. It's just way more skill than good music. Yeah, like see, I'm not, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I st- kind of stopped fucking with him at Marshall Mathers LB two or that shit I think that's fire. what it was called. I think that was was that no no two two was the. Uh, less fu- the the original ones like the, the fucking really good okay, one okay. also quick i mean if anybody's into this uh 1993 infinite uh is the album by eminem it's very like old school uh boom bat like it doesn't even sound like eminem and it's a it's an underrated album because like he's famous for what he does mm. but this is kind of when he was just like coming up and it's uh if you like like early 90s like boom bat was albums, that the one that he really got good. he was saying he said nigga on there no, 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 that one, that one. I don't, I don't even. Does that even exist? Yeah, he has a song on. Oh shit! I didn't that was that. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, never mind. I don't support him anymore. Uh, I've never done such a thing, <laughs> even though I spent the first ten minutes telling you about it. Uh, uh, so top nigga, three. So, but also like Kendrick Lamar, he like pushes himself artistically and mm-hmm. like does different shit. Uh, it doesn't feel it feels like growth of an artist in like a circle instead of one direction where it's like uh-huh. no if it's the Eminem obviously like Eminem's the shit but like it's very like who can uh, be the most clever and the most fast at like all times yeah. like you know or that's simplifying it a bit but okay so Kendrick um, god I feel like I should have an old school person in oh well oh I mean Andre Andre 3000 okay that's I good mean one. that's a good one I mean Atlanta. I'm literally wearing an outcast <laughs> hat right now yeah Atlanta I, I want to put them together in there, like Big Boy too. But if we're just doing single, I mean Andre three thousand again. You could do a group. You could do a group. We'll say Outcast. We'll say Outcast then, because um, like Andre is another great example of like pushing himself artistically. I think that's like really important. And uh, like, yeah, I know he's on like all the flute shit and stuff now. I thought <laughs> oh. I thought he was gonna hide a verse at the end of that album. I really fucking and it was did. just straight flute. It was just it was all meditation music, straight oh, flute. Yeah. It, it was like I mean I'm like throw up. it's got a time and place, but not 
what dude. you know he got all right i'll say he got more hype than any other ambient album of, of ever has gotten <laughs> so yeah. like oh for sure you know, uh, uh first well, of all sounds of the supermarket 2 from 1975 <laughs> brandon look that up dude <laughs> uh, sounds of the supermarket 2 it came out in 1975 one of the greatest albums <laughs> ever recorded dude. Sounds of the supermarket. I, I heard i'm this. so dead oh, ass there's, there's no way you've heard this brandon. sounds of this the is gonna get brandon ptsd <laughs> into his <laughs> ships at Publix. <laughs> that's it bro Yo, this, that's it yes brandon dude, yeah. are they filming through the store the whole time they're filming through the store this is it you did you did this is it oh you seen it i think i've seen it Dude, I think. Maybe I I'm grocery store that. one. Or I'll beat myself up. One yeah. Hell oh, yeah, dude. I love this fucking song. <laughs> but even this, even this is too upbeat <laughs> compared to, <laughs> compared to the Andre album. album. Why they got so many apples, bro? Potatoes, potatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> All right, now your turn. <laughs> I can't rap. You can't rap. What about wait, you, wait JJ? for the beat drop. No, dude. There's we are not going to desecrate this fucking song right now, dude. <laughs> this is an instrumental. It's actually not bad. Yeah. I told you, bro. Some fucking boss gags right there. <laughs> don't laugh. You don't get that reference. Oh my God. Huh? <laughs> boss gags. Of course, it's, it's probably one of those things you showed at Sierra's house. One of those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fucking videos. Less trippy, less trippy. More yeah. yacht rock. <laughs> All right. Actually, this does seem. Since the music sounds like it, can I take an intermission to pee real quick? Hell yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. We gonna play this while you go pee. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get it. Let me get it. Subliminal recordings that were intended to increase buyer purchasing at grocery store. This is a psyop. Bro, this what? is a side. I was reading the description, bro. Yeah. Look at that. Inaudible subliminal recordings that were intended to increase buyer purchasing at grocery stores. Dude, I've been psyoped. I can't believe I just spread yeah. that to y'all, dude. Dude, I read an article. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I read an article about this like eight years ago that in uh, Japan in the supermarkets, uh, or like uh, more like department stores, like a, like a, I guess like Walmart. I'm sure they don't have that trashy shit there, but... Uh, but like in a like in the camping section, they'll play like bird noises and shit. And then in like the uh, like it's a lot of like nature sounds because mm-hmm. it's just like I guess they think it'll just revert to like early Homo sapien. And when you're hearing like birds in the vegetable section, you'll start picking them. I don't know. Like I that uh, like that basketball player from earlier. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you remember playing? The they Wii got great back Walmart, dude. And yeah. Oh, I, I do. I uh, I miss the Wii. Honestly, I have a Switch now, but sometimes I just want to play Wii Sports, dude. Me Just too, fuck him up in boxing. Hey, oh man, I missed that. Speaking shit. of yeah. basketball, mm-hmm. will you play this clip up there? It's uh. Well, we got to get Charlie's. Oh third. no no yeah yeah yeah. My yeah. What? What? You're, You're like, you did Your Outcast third. and uh, Kendrick. Oh bro. yeah, number three. Oh yeah, I was saying that. All right. Oh man, it's really tough. Like a ranking is always hard. But I was saying I need one old school person, and I would like them to be someone from the south but i gotta say who who are you listening to though who you who if you if you own are you playing outcast you playing kendrick and who else i'm gonna say i'm gonna say biggie dude yeah. okay biggie I'll yeah biggie. i i never like really decide on like the Pac versus biggie thing but like it just as far as like quintessential rap like he hits that more than anybody else and like it's important to have a new york person in there that's where it's from yeah. and shit but like uh just on honestly j- like Purely the fucking first verse on Notorious Thugs, Biggie Smalls with Bone Thugs and Harmony. This nigga know. <laughs> yeah. cut, dude, that's one of the greatest. That's hey. one of the greatest. Yeah, cut the. Yeah, all right. Hey, that's that's. <laughs> I think the greatest verse of it, all time. It is quite possibly the greatest verse of all time. It's also quoted frequently as fuck, like by other rap, because that's a big thing in rap. Like obviously with samples, passing those down, but also yeah. like uh, lyrics. Like so many artists have done versions of Notorious Thugs. Like I know. As far as popular, Nicki Minaj is the only one I can think of, but uh, but plenty of like smaller time rappers have done that for sure. Oh, trademark yeah. the skydiver, oxygen. I doubt anybody knows that, but jet life, currency, that's currency. The shit. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 I I know fuck, yeah. I used to be huge on currency. High school, it was just currency and Juicy yep. J for me. That was hey, everything, dude. Nigga, dude, I, I love Juicy J. Hey, hey, Juicy, that's my nigga. Oh, dude, dog. for real. Yeah, hey, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I literally got like suspended from school for a Juicy J song. For real? Which one? Uh, uh, Juicy J can't not the uh, not the you to say no to ratchet pussy, but he already had a song yeah. on uh, Blue Dreams and Lean. You say no to drugs, Juicy, Juicy J, J can't. can't. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I had to do like a music video analysis, and I brought that song in, and uh, the teacher did not fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did my mother. When she told her, <laughs> "Damn, dude." If Damn. I was to pick my top three, and we get to put groups in there, three six is my number one. Real, oh. Triple say Mafia, The Kill When I Say So is number one. Okay, I don't yeah. give a fuck. Put Project Pat in that bitch, Lord Infamous. Yeah. Come on, man. Also, also underrated as far as influence. Like, their influence. Oh, yeah. Everything today 
comes from three six. Like as as far as all of trap, like that that's trap, just that, three six passed down. Yeah. And I like I hated uh like when I was growing up I hated that I, I still don't like uh, conscious rap or whatever. Like, like common and shit. Oh, like uh God, get this motherfucker away <laughs> from me. Even Jay Z back like when I was growing up, he had mm-hmm, it was like big, mm-hmm. he had the big pimping era like that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. After for that sure. he went into all this, you know, it's cause he grew up and nothing wrong yeah, with it. Yeah, but at the time it I, I couldn't stand it. I, it's like better now that I'm older. Yeah, but when I was younger, it was like give me three six mafia talking about selling drugs, killing niggas, robbing exactly. niggas. You know what I'm saying? I need that. That's I what still I'm like about, that now. Dude. That's yeah. what I'm about. Sometimes you gotta rob a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no, now he's <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Now he's still very like wake up. You know, like that's like kind of his vibe now. It's like open up your mind to what's going on. Like look around at what's happening. Who? And it's Juicy? Like, no, 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 Jay Z. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like you know he might be involved in that. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll, yeah. we'll see. But I'm pretty sure he's had people killed. Because I was, we were talking yeah. about it last night with Alex uh, Di Mascala. I was mm-hmm. like, it's easier to like if somebody was like, I ain't down with this. Whatever they doing at the parties, let's say a little bit of it's real. And mm-hmm. dude was like, I'm not down with this. I'm going to tell. It's easier just to kill him. It's way if you have that much. If you okay. Did he know motherfuckers that will kill somebody for right, exactly. for nothing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, you yeah. give them twenty thousand dollars, they'll kill anybody you Even want. Even if they're huge, yeah, yeah, yeah probably, True. yeah. Epstein. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Somebody got his ass. Yeah, he got after some people's ass too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of ass. Yeah, yeah. A lot of ass. Going a lot of ass in that scene. <laughs> Brandon, who are your top three rappers, man? Top yeah, three rappers, you know, I gotta do this because me, I'm very loyal, man. Tyler, he's the gonna creator, be like Duke one. Ellington. Tyler, <laughs> Tyler the Creator at one, two Kendrick Lamar, and three I love MF Doom. You okay, like MF Doom? I can Doom. respect yeah. that. I, never I can heard respect that. You never heard it? Mm-hmm. MF Doom, he has good. Uh, he has good. Time. Oh no, it is. He's really good. It's like. Uh, I mean, you're getting his style every time, though, for sure. I like you said Tyler though, because again, I was talking about like pushing creative limits. Tyler definitely does that. Oh yeah. Uh, so I fuck with Tyler the Creator too. And who's the third one? Uh, I said first it was Tyler, then Kendrick, Kendrick, yeah. and okay. the third one MF Doom. You yeah. like the new Kendrick when uh, on Futures? Like yeah, that? Yeah, a little. Di- I I I think it got a little overhyped online, but it, it, it's good. The I beat, mean, I mean, it's always the beat be banging. Oh I think no, no, that's, no, that's that, a three, oh, six no, 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 beat. no, no, that, no, no, no. The song goes hard. Yeah, I thought you just meant specifically about the uh, the like roasting J Cole and Drake or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I felt like that was overhyped. But wait, did you just say Control a second ago? No, my bad. I made no. that up. But remember that? Do you remember Control? Mm-hmm. He came up that. It was a similar like kind of diss track to like all sorts of artists. Uh, oh yeah, for yeah, some yeah. reason, J Electronic is the only one I remember. But but it was like a bunch. And then like all these other rappers started doing uh, verses over that. Oh, beat. but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah. like was that early pandemic or before? Yeah, no, no, that was before. That was like twenty fifteen, maybe. Damn, it was that long. I honest, honestly, it might have been twenty fourteen. I think I was still in high school. Jesus yeah. Christ! Ten years. Yeah, time girl. flies when you're forty eight. <laughs> 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 Early onset <laughs> dementia. <laughs> He's not that old, guys. He's 43 max. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol adds years, man. Yeah, man. It does. It does. That's what my doctor tells me. <laughs> so, well, we were talking about basketball. Do you remember Donald Sterling, um, that whole thing? He was the owner of... Uh, the Clippers. Clippers. And he said the N-word, right? Well, he did no, a lot he, of he, shit. Yeah, he, he was just like, don't have the monkeys over here. He was talking oh, about my but, girlfriend. But he was, yeah, but he was talking about like Magic Johnson. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't call like Magic out of all black people in the world. You can't call Magic Johnson. I mean, he's a fucking billionaire. Dude. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, I like mean, one of the most successful people, and he beat AIDS. I I Shit. also agree. When they're I, rich enough, I accept. Them. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded like that's what you meant. But, but, <laughs> no, but yeah, Brown. he's talking like he's a, like a street thug or something. And it's fucking you. you when you hear the video, you're yeah. thinking like he's talking about. And like it's just, just Magic Johnson. It's yeah, Magic fucking like Johnson. His name's wow. Irvin, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His name's Irvin. Magic Irvin. So go to the, uh, <laughs> it's a TikTok, yeah. Barbara Walters. Yeah, that one. Okay, right. now what? This is oh, this is his what? This is his girlfriend at the time. Right. She's insane, dude. Right? Yep. Can you tell me what your relationship with Donald Sterling is? I'm Mr. Sterling's right hand arm man. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sterling everything. I'm his confidant, his best friend, his silly rabbit. His what? His silly rabbit. His silly rabbit? Yeah, is that what he calls you? No. 
<laughs> no. That's the craziest shit of all time. This, this is me trying to like defend silly. what I bring to my relationship with my girlfriend. Like she has a better job, pays more money, like, and, and I'm just like. Yeah, I'm. I'm just a goofy. I'm a goofy little gopher. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what she calls you? No. <laughs> no. We, we were at Moody's. It was. Yeah. It was your girl. Yeah. It was like Ashlyn's uh, uh, friend was boyfriend. There and her boyfriend. Yeah. And, and it was like a couple other people that I didn't know. And then they were like, uh, it, some dude. Name, his name is literally Dominique. Same name as mine. Okay, and he yeah. comes up. He's like, you weren't in there. He was like, what do you what do you guys do? And everybody went around. And I swear to God, it was like, I'm an engineer. I'm uh, a scientist. Yeah, and then they came yeah. to me. And he looked at me. I was like, I'm in school. He's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, I go to school, man. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. First of all, I'm an I'm American. Like, Where the fuck is Charlie at? He needs to be right here next to me. <laughs> Yeah, there's nothing better than when sci-fi talked to Kendall for the first time, and and he was like, uh, he's like asking her about stuff, and he's like, uh, yeah, like you, you know, uh, Charlie does comedy. Like, uh, you guys just moved to Huntsville, right? Like, uh, so you like you followed him here to Huntsville for comedy? And she's like, uh, no, absolutely not. No, I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> he followed me. <laughs> Uh, good choice yeah oh yeah a good choice for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. no uh, and Huntsville's Hunts, Huntsville has been fucking great man I mean uh, shout out to you guys dude the Clown College Comedy Podcast I feel like that's such a like it's uh, really great what y'all have done like you showed yeah. up and are putting on the scene like it's not just about you guys like you're literally like having us oh, on yeah. and being on this and like uh, it takes a little guts to do that to fucking show up and like put everything on your back so well, I a big back but <laughs> <laughs> This motherfucker can't stop. Dude. <laughs> That's how he is all the time. <laughs> all the time, this motherfucker. But oh yeah, dude, I, I swear we got here, and I was I was legit like, oh, there's funny people here. No, I know. Yeah, I had the same reaction, and yeah. I was like, because I every I swear to God, every podcast like you're gonna be the if you're funny, you're gonna be the funniest one. I was like, I'm not even close. <laughs> not even close. I'm like there's so and there's a lot of them. There's yeah, there's, no, there's a ton of people here, dude. When I first showed up, I. Uh, before I did an open mic, I was like, I should go see at least like one thing around town to see what's up. And uh, and Sci-Fi and Ashland Lutz were on it, and I was like, Oh fuck, dude, yeah. I gotta fucking step it up from what I was doing in Athens. I was like, God damn, because I mean they're both obviously fucking hilarious, and they're full of energy. Oh, and both full of energy. Full yeah. of oh it. yeah, for real though. Yeah, especially Ashland. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. She's great. Sci-Fi is great. Uh, no, this whole scene has been awesome. It's like. Uh, I feel like it's very accepting drama or no drama, but uh, but Man, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, little yeah, bit. you yeah, got to have a little bit. Yeah, you got that everywhere. There's no yeah. drugs here though. What and I know? didn't think. I didn't think that was going. No comics are like drug yeah, out. I'm the up. biggest yeah. alcoholic. Yeah. I guess, but I'm not really alcoholic. <laughs> true, well, biggest true. by mass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a few. <laughs> Hold up, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Charlie, we need to get you to do that, man. Yeah, and we'll add it to the soundboard. Real- That's a good one. <laughs> but you have to have your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Uh, I remember the first show I saw, man. I got roasted the first day. <laughs> By that fucking comedian. I was Are in the serious? back. And she was like, he looked like he finna blow up this building. I was like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn, usually they pick out a white kid for that. Yeah. I, I was literally sitting in the back. like in the mid- Well, that makes sense. I was sitting in the, in the middle by myself a little bit. People were in the front. And she was like, that dude look like he finna blow this place up. I was like, Come <laughs> he on. probably look lonely. I, I, yeah. And she was like, he, he didn't smile. I was like, yeah, I, I got issues, miss. <laughs> I don't make facials. I, I love a joke that you don't do anymore. Well, which one? The headlights. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. I did drop headlights. It just, I couldn't I get enough joke. out of it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, basically, for anybody wondering, it's just uh, shitting on how bright headlights are nowadays. It's ridiculous, dude. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like, sometimes I do feel like some good material. Uh, comes out by tapping into that old man in me. It's just annoyed that I can't fucking see. I can't see forward because there's somebody behind me with fucking bright headlights, and it's my fucking rear view, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. What'd you say? Uh, the surgery? You didn't say that for it. Uh, you you mean the uh, uh, what are they using to make them? Fucking uh, oh, I don't even nuclear remember. fission. Nuclear fission. Oh, yeah. I said binary fission. Yeah, <laughs> using nuclear fission to make them shit. LEDs more like. What does that stand for? Laser eye detonating fucking <laughs> devices? I don't remember. But <laughs> if, you, if you want LASIK, just stand on the uh, yeah, just stand on the high, side of the highway at two a.m. Yeah, Hell yeah. That's I guess fucking... you like that. Nobody else ever fucking I loved that. that Dom's the only person old enough to understand that. <laughs> yeah, his, his question getting LASIK. Oh, sure. yeah, he spent too much time in his teens wearing cat eye contacts. Oh, I did. <laughs> if you don't know, that's a recent fact I learned about Dom <laughs> is that he would wear put in. Uh, 
uh, fake contacts with fucking cat eyes yep. on them, dude. What? When I, you were the weird <laughs> kid. <laughs> oh, no, no, hold on. I want to say this. So we had my boy Bob Sharkey, shout out. So he would get he would get these contacts and he would have like any color you want. Right. And then like we had like some guys wanted to have hazel eyes and yeah, shit. Yeah, you put in blue eyes that. to try to get some pussy. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, I wrestled. So I was like, when I go to the wrestling meet, I'm gonna put cat eyes in and scare oh, that everybody. It's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. But I could only get one in. So <laughs> so I have one regular and then one cat eye in. And then when I went end up going to college and then uh people like from around you know went to the same college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, dude, I always thought you were badass because you had those uh, cat eyes. Honestly, <laughs> that would fucking terrify me if I was like, And I had badass. a tattoo dude yeah. oh, in high school. <laughs> at- Hell the yeah, the better way to intimidate your wrestling opponent is just to practice. Yeah, just get better at wrestling, dude. <laughs> and I wasn't like I was good. Like I, I went like thirty five and four or something like my senior year. Damn. Right. So I was really like went to state, uh, won a match there, then I got my ass beat by somebody who was way smaller than me. I'm talking about rolled me up like a fucking pretzel. Really? I did this thing like I, I would go like this to try to like get them get them yeah, off. Because like my thing was out. to I grab them by the back of neck, do a duck under, just oh, take them down. I yeah, didn't get okay. on the ground. I didn't get on the ground. Do none of that shit. Right. I tried to do that. He just when I went like this, he shot on me, flipped me up, and just spent me just like oh, that. Oh shit! Fucked dude. me up. But Damn. uh, but yeah, I didn't I didn't do any any of that shit on the ground. Yeah, I couldn't I tell could, you. I couldn't I, tell you. I probably could tell you two moves. I slam you and I get back up. So you do yeah. snap, get around, repeat, let him up. Yeah, back exactly. Down. Unless Humiliation. unless unless they're weak and I can just do a half Nelson and pin them, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Get out mm-hmm. the way. If I could do that, then I would just do that. But I ain't do I ain't fucking I, I have on zero sense of any of that. I've never <laughs> grappled or fucking <laughs> anything on the ground, like striking maybe and like boxing, but all that other shit, I I don't know anything about. And it's crazy now because anybody can fucking fight now. Like literally, oh, dude, yeah. I just watched oh, yeah. a video yesterday of an of uh, uh, some guy stole another dude's phone and this old lady grabs the guy and puts him in a headlock. Literally like it's in England, she's like 60 something, I would guess, and literally like immediately pins the dude in a fucking headlock and I was like, "Damn, I just yeah, you I got you would have got beat I, by a 63." <laughs> oh yeah, dude, I better keep being fucking funny. Like, <laughs> Because anybody oh, can fuck me up. You never know these days. <laughs> we were at uh, shenanigans one time, and you kept yeah. joking on those old people. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if it was that lady, and she just went out there yeah. and beat your ass. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you, that was the funniest fucking thing. Like, <laughs> There wasn't that many people at that there show. There was like dude. nobody maybe, at that one noob show. Yeah, maybe yeah. 12 people. Yeah, total. yeah. And there was like three elderly people in the front right. And Charlie just kept calling back to them, being like, "You're fucking old." <laughs> like, hey. he'd, be, he'd say something, and be like, "Oh, but you probably forgot what I said earlier." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to do that to these old people. No, literally, like, you guys remember when you were kids? I know they don't. But, uh, yeah, Dude, it's that's good. It's it's like uh, there's something tough. I have noticed, like when I do do like a tiny piece of crowd work at the beginning, if I chose you as a person. I'm going back to you the rest of the set because it's yeah. like I can't think of something new, so I'm just gonna keep shitting on you over and over again. But yeah, and then that guy came up to me afterwards too, and he was like, uh, "I forget, I have a whole bit about making toys fuck." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Great job, as big as that is, things. Good. Yeah, I guess I gotta fucking do it tonight. But uh, I'm a little tired of that one. But uh, well, I'll do it though. But um, yeah, he was I'll like asking you. about it, and he was like, "We didn't have action figures in my day," and I was like, "Oh well, you would have made them fuck. Trust me." <laughs> <laughs> Do you do that whenever you just like make eye contact with a person in the crowd? Like the first person I make eye contact with, I'm gonna do it throughout the whole show. Right? Yeah. No. So definitely, yeah. If I made that eye contact, I've picked you out. I'm gonna keep doing you. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Maybe if it was, maybe if we had longer sets, I'd eventually switch. But I don't think so. I think it's just my mind can't think of anything else quick enough. Uh, but also, it's. Um, honestly, if my set is going good, I'm probably not gonna do any of that unless somebody like shouts out or something mm-hmm. but like it's literally like if i didn't get enough of a laugh i'm like i need to i guess i need to say something about the room or something i don't know uh i don't know i want to delve a little more into crowd work but that shit's scary as fuck dude, dude. Me, i'm same way dude. yeah i, I want it like it'd be crazy to just go up with nothing and just go for it and you you probably wouldn't do terrible like like think about it like this <laughs> go up, well you might do terrible. Yeah, i don't fucking know in so my sad. head i think you're gonna do it but as long as like if you just went up and we're just talking about shit in the room, that would probably be better. Like whether you're funny or not, you're just literally being like observation about shit in the room. That'd probably be better than a bad set. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like the silence after a joke not landing is way worse than the silence of like what's what's this guy about? Like what's he gonna do next? You know. Uh, but yeah, nothing's worse than a 
bombing, obviously. Oh. Dude, Charlie <laughs> is my favorite comedian to watch in general because he does well most of the time. But oh, I appreciate that. Whether All he right. does good or bad, I have the same amount of fun. Dude, because <laughs> watching Charlie bomb is the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> he Thank just you, walks yeah, like yeah. back and forth. I just start, <laughs> the, the, the worse I bomb, the faster I get <laughs> on stage. <laughs> like, if I have a really bad one, I'll just be running back and forth. Dude, I'm going to start calling him Pong, dude, because yeah. it keeps speeding up the longer it goes on. That's you hilarious, dude. watches on see how many steps you take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get a half mile on a five-minute set. Like, fucking... <laughs> I think that's a lot. What, what do you guys know. do? What do you guys do in a day? Five minutes? Uh, yeah, five. I, th- I think it's five minute, and then they're gonna do a couple improv scenes, and then it's the family feud thing. Shout out to Shenanigans. I yeah, love hell, yeah, hell, uh, yeah. Jessica. Yeah, just hosting us to do comedy. Also, I think this shit's really fun. Like a piece of me. I mean, obviously, like I'm in love with comedy and like stand up. Like that's what I want to do. But I also love panel shows, dude. British panel shows oh, are my, my favorite, God, dude. dude. Dude, like, uh, uh, have you ever seen? Um, Tim Heat. Oh god damn it! I can't remember. It's a uh, it's, it's the fat guy, show. British guy. Yeah, no, it's the show he's talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about. It's like a game. It's almost like it's, a game show. I know uh, what you're talking about. Taskmaster, Taskmaster, dude. Yeah, Taskmaster really is the good. shit, dude. And James A. Caster is like a fantastic underrated comic. But uh, all those British panel shows, they do one at the end of every year, like this like quiz show about shit that happened in the year. I watch it every New Year's. Yeah, that's uh, that's a. I know what you're talking yeah, about. That's yeah. hilarious. It Jimmy Carr was Jimmy Carr. On it. Jimmy Carr yeah. No, he always hosted. hosted. Or yeah. Okay, now, then I do yeah. know what you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, also Carr. Richard Iode or however yeah, you say yeah, his name. Yeah, yeah. That he's, dude is hilarious. He's hilarious. Very quick, dude. Yeah, very. quick. You know who it is? He was on that one show. The um, I I know the British show is like IT or something like. Oh that. yeah, yeah. The one I said looks like Jalen. Reminds me of Jalen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? Yeah, like a nerdier Jalen. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Uh, uh, I for quiz show, Kuta great Kinte. big, Kuta great Kinte. big British <laughs> quiz of the year. Is that it? Yeah, it's like the big quiz of the year. I All feel right. like you just put British quiz big of the year. year. Big oh, fat quiz of the big year. Big fat quiz of the year. Oh, there we go. Damn. Damn. Right Jimmy there. <laughs> oh yeah. How you fucking laughs? Yeah, I laughs. <laughs> <laughs> quiz is Dom's nickname. That's what I, I try to have a rule. <laughs> I have like the whole crew. I have a rule on stage. I, I don't know why I have a rule. I've never even run into this, but <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a rule or just something I thought one day, but like every once in a while somebody has like a fucked up laugh. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? And yeah. like you want to call that out, but I feel like I can't. Like I, I in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to make fun of somebody for their laugh because they're doing the thing I want, you them, want them to, to do. do. Yeah. But God damn it. Some people have just a fucked up. It's like yeah. when you see somebody running and you're like, have they ever done this before? Like, <laughs> You know who has a crazy laugh that's always around here? It's Matthew Tate. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Matthew, Tate he's got laugh, big laugh. First of all, laugh. you want it to happen because yeah, if he yeah, laughs yeah. at your joke, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah. like a, a good joke, like right. written. And, uh, no, yeah, yeah. exactly. It, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because his jokes laugh, are, right? I mean, that that dude does some of the wildest jokes. Yeah, I've another. if we're talking about people who don't give a fuck, that's another one right <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Matthew, uh, when he laughs, it's like I remember he was the first there the first time I did comedy at, at Shenanigans, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Ha!" I thought he was yeah. fucking like I thought he was you fucking around. Fake laugh. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. They <laughs> laughed the hardest at my Kool Aid Man bit out of anybody ever. Really? A good yeah. Oh yeah, the Kool Aid Man. That's a great. Joke. Oh yeah, that is a good joke. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see tonight. It's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and check out shenanigans. They always have. They always let us do. Do oh, yeah. laughs dot com. We can put on shows there. They exactly. always have shows for every comedian's improv. improv. I yeah. always want to say improvisation, and but like Kim and Jessica are like totally personable too. It's like it's oh, not yeah. like they're oh, unreachable. Yeah. Like they come out and do shit. Yeah, like yeah they yeah, were at yeah. the no, bowling thing out. last night. Yeah, mm-hmm. they came out Thanks, for Southwest's yeah. birthday at the bowling yeah. alley. No, we're like definitely really lucky oh, to have and, uh, to have uh, shenanigans. Uh, just just so we remember, go subscribe on YouTube to That's Studio right. Jester. That mm-hmm. is uh, yeah. Kim and Ogre's new YouTube That's channel. Right. Yeah, just search yeah. only because yeah. I just did it today. Well, I subscribed the other day, but I checked it again today just to make sure it was. Uh, yeah, just search Studio Gesture and hit uh, channels, and it should be the first one. At least on my phone, it was. Uh, Support but yeah, Huntsville it's a good Comedy. podcast. You're yeah, going to yeah. see Brandon on there, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. Sci-Fi was on it. Yeah. You was on it. I was on it. Yep. Okay, yeah. nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's about movies. Uh, they just, Oh, what movie did you do? Scary movie. Sca- okay, Come nice, on, nice. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. As soon as, soon, as she, soon as she brought it up, I was like, I got you right now. Yeah. You know, I don't have to think about it. Scary movie, we're doing that one. Hell but yeah, yeah it was fun, too. And uh, 
I, I told her I was like, get people who like like movies, yeah, who, who really like to watch movies and like are passionate about like, especially even if it's just their, their movie. Yeah, see, I want to be a movie guy, but I'm just not. So don't have me on the podcast. She's had me do multiple of those little uh, like one minute. What do you think about this? Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. feel like everyone I'm bad. I'm like, I'm just like, well, it was it was called Animal House, <laughs> so it made me think about the zoo. <laughs> you know? Yeah, mine was terrible. Dude. Yeah, I, I've done like. Uh, multiple for everyone i'm just like i didn't say anything worthwhile oh but, me too i yeah. got the names wrong i was like they were uh what was the sandlot or whatever is truffle shuffle oh yeah oh well that's goonies, goonies, go to goonies. goonies. Oh, so, yeah. so goonies and then i was like i was like the fat man shuffle <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i got every word wrong yeah I like, yeah i was like yeah. I think he's eating a snickers i still don't know if that's right <laughs> Did snickers. he like sneakers or was it a different candy bar i just it know, might hey, have you guys. hey you guys hey you guys i've never seen i just seen his face Oh really? You would oh, like Goonies, Goonies dude. Goonies, really? You, you would really like that. Like, really? Uh, it, just, it very much fits in as like an '80s movie, and I know you just like older shit. <laughs> oh yeah, like Roadhouse. Is it all comedy movies that they do on the podcast? No, no, no. They mm. done because they did Rocky with him. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. no, it's, 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 it's like any movie Lord of the Flies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A really fucking that's a fucked up movie huh? oh yeah well i wouldn't i don't know no it's good the book, but it'll be yeah. good well, they, like, they fucking they kill piggy spoiler alert yeah yeah <laughs> well his bitch ass fell off yeah the land yeah, yeah. Like, yeah cracked her off, fucking head dude. open no nah, they pushed that's natural dude. selection you can't be <laughs> mad at that really <laughs> wait what movie is this one lord of the flies oh, it's a book a lot a of book, people yeah. had to read in uh yeah, school yeah, yeah i don't think i had to read it but i read we're gonna watch um uh what's it called dude what? The famous movie Harper Lee, or the famous book Harper Lee. She's from Alabama. Sure. To Kill a Mockingbird. To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, okay. Didn't they say they were I, trying to take that out of school or something? It was a banned book at one point, I think. Right. Yeah, this is. I've been seeing jokes about uh, banned books. They're like, I can get it right here. Like, it's in the yeah. front of the fucking bookstore. They mean it used to be banned. I guess I'm sticking up for fucking libraries suddenly as if I give yeah. a shit. <laughs> I know. I don't even Nerd. read, but you need to have that shit. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you, you should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to read a fucked up book, go read the original version of To Kill a Mockingbird. It's called Go Set a Watchman. Mm. That's the original, and they sort of redid it. That was, I think, that was the original draft of the oh, book. Oh, interesting! And then they changed it afterwards. To kill a mockingbird, yeah, that's a good sign, dude. Right? I did. Yeah. A, that's a perfect. <laughs> <sign>. <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Yeah, it had kind of. It was like a director's cut alternate ending, kind of. I don't even like. It was a lot sadder. He man. went to jail. Or he got death uh, penalty. Yeah, you could definitely... It's, r- it's completely... It's different. It's completely- like, it's the same characters, the same kind of general storyline, but the way it plays out is different. I I, th- I read it a long time ago. I don't really remember mm. that much, but it was more fucked up. I do yeah, remember. was there oh, ever wow. was there ever a book you had to read in school that you really, like, that, I don't know, uh, touched you? White <laughs> Fang. <laughs> yeah. Which one? White Fang. Uh, is that like Hatchet? It's with the wolf. With the wolf. Honestly, I don't know He White befriended fang. the wolf. Hmm. Nah, I remember Hatchet. Some people I, I remember Hatchet. I remember yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Monster. Yeah. That's what black people like, the monster. Monster? Oh, yeah. What's you that? guys didn't read Oh, I forgot. You were in school and they were still segregated. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's weird because you had to do a half day at each school. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But he rode the short bus to both of them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't deal uh, with uh, that. <laughs> a, a separate piece by John Knowles. That's my favorite book I ever. A read separate in piece. I don't know that Damn. either. Damn. I don't know that. Damn. Yeah. It was real weird, dude. Uh, Al Capone uh, does my shirt. Yep. Is that a? That's a book. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I, I assumed we were all reading the same books. But yeah. That's not. Oh, no. I feel like the first what you were saying is what I I remember. Like, and, uh, but I don't remember. Yeah. Y'all read the Mockingbird Crucible? of Mice and Men. Yeah, I read the Crucible. Scarlet yeah. Letter. Warriors. We didn't have to do Scarlet Letter. Warriors. Yeah, I don't know the movie. I don't the know the book. Uh, oh, the oh, cats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was, I don't remember being required. <laughs> that, was not, yeah. that, that, that was just a book you read, bro. <laughs> yeah. Warriors? Yeah, warrior cats. Yeah, with the cats. Yeah. There were cats. That, are you thinking of Warriors the movie? Yeah, like, Warriors. Look at Warriors. Oh, oh no, not that. No, That's the new, no he's no. talking about Warriors. It's a book about cats. Yeah. And if you ever want to get with a horse girl, you should definitely read this book. <laughs> that oh, is fact. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is yeah, factual yeah. information, I dude. I forgot we did a horse girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you got into the AR They also wars. had a, another one that was about bears. I don't remember what it was called. Ooh, what about uh, Animorphs? Oh, uh, the Golden Compass. Or yeah, at least there was a bear in the Golden Compass. Yeah, I remember that. Man. Yeah, words. Was, you didn't uh, have to read the Scarlet Letter, man. No, we didn't have to read that one. I think they were. I went. I went to an. Actually, here's a good, Frankenstein. A good story. Everybody? I don't know how we are on time, oh, but oh, oh, oh. Uh, but I went yeah. to like a pretty fucking progressive school district, and so like they probably wouldn't like the Scarlet Letter because it's just like slut shaming, or maybe they. I guess the point in the end is not to do that or something. I never read it, so I don't fucking know. <laughs> anyways, anyways, so it's like a really you know progressive, like a you know blue island in a red state type shit. And uh, 
I mean, they literally called Decatur Dick Hater. It's like the like lesbian capital oh. of the South. <laughs> um, and it's next to Agnes Scott College. But anyways, um, we had this project in middle school called the uh, Global Water Project. And it was one day, it was like run by like the social studies classes. Uh, one day, in order to, I guess, like empathize with... Um, with kids in Africa who would have to like get up every day and go like walk and get their water and then like walk back home and then like go to school and all mm. that shit. So one day we had to go to school. I could be wrong, but I think we had to like get there early and everything. So it's like before school and shit. And uh, they filled up uh, a gallon jug. Like they they asked for a bunch of milk jugs and we filled up every jug with like, or my bad, my bad. You have an empty milk jug at the beginning, one in each hand. So you have two milk jugs. And we had to walk all the way to just like, some person's fucking house in like a neighborhood nearby and we all go who knows what the fuck their water bill was because we all just fill up fill up these jugs from a hose like every every fucking student in the seventh grade like fills up two milk jugs and then we have to walk them back to school oh god it sounds like a cool project because it's like oh yeah like this is what it's like you know you're gonna Mm -hmm. experience this thing well then we get back to the school and everybody's like what do we do with all this fucking water like we don't know what to do with this shit and they're like all right, start pouring it out. <laughs> start pouring what, what rid of this the water. Fuck? They're like, completely they're like, whatever. Yeah, yeah no, it I defeated know. the entire purpose. It's just a waste of everybody's <laughs> fucking time, yeah, exactly. dude. <laughs> yeah. Wow, and one volunteer parent got like a two thousand dollar water bill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh my gosh. All right, all right, Charlie. This is the end of the podcast. We could yeah, do this. Dude. We could do this forever with you, man. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's droning on, dude. No, 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 <laughs> no. I'm, no, I'm saying in a good way. I can't believe it was already that time. Uh but thank you for coming on. Oh, yeah, dude. I loved it. Yeah, glad to be here again. Like I said, thanks, y'all, for like putting on the whole community, the whole scene. So, hell yeah. Thank you for being a thank beast. You. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming. Man. And if you're <laughs> ever out there and you see Charlie fucking Swisher on a goddamn... Dude, I'm telling you. He's going to fucking smash. <laughs> I appreciate it. He's going to smash. He's coming with hell jokes. Yeah. Come out, y'all. I'm come talking out. about joke, joke, joke. Smart, smart joke. Sometimes, <laughs> like I, I was saying... JJ He's giving me too much credit. No, JJ <laughs> made fun of me because I was like, sometimes it takes me a little while to get, to get Charlie's yeah. jokes. But once you get them... Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's going to be a problem for any of you guys. But, you know, I appreciate the sentiment. His jokes are good. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but you All just right. tell this camera anything Thanks you got so. going on or in your social media. Yeah, fucking uh, Instagram at Charlie Charlie Swisher. And you can go to charlieswisher.com. There ain't shit on there right now, but soon enough. It's just some old music stuff. But, hell yeah. Thanks, y'all. Come out to the shows. Support Huntsville Comedy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.